walk these streets with diamonds in our eyes Out with the vampires under a midnight sky My mind so hypnotized It was exciting It was the 90s Daddy always said that I was going too far Said there's never any compromising If you try to win the battle to be who you are I dance to the left, I dance to the right Hold hands with my demons and creatures of night On an undercover mission to find
on our walls The Pepsi generation Thought we'd seen it all Brightly lit future With flying cars And we'd all be Superstars Energy is Endlessly Entertaining us Violently Commercials play on TV Nothing was ever free
Pepper and her friends are at playground. Children! Everybody, it's time Saturday night. Time of dreams, oh night God, of dreams. Does it never end? Are you kidding me? It never ends, does it? The time where we all get together and talk about the most important things that happened on May fifth, two thousand and eleven. Can you believe it? That's what we're all here for in the house as well, as has been the case for like I think at least a month or so. Atlas, the bookkeeper in the house. How you feeling, my friend? Uh, you were right when you said uh, it never ends. It never ends. <laughs> <laughs> yes, obviously it never ends. I know everyone's got to talk. We, there's such a big news drop today. Sometimes it feels silly. Try, you know, loading up the old Ask the King. But no, my friends, don't think it's silly. This is more important than any current news, my friends. What Phil's thoughts were on the 5th of May in 2011 is, is what we're really all about. Am I right, Atlas? Come on. Oh, absolutely. I think it's more important now than ever to look at old <laughs> Phil. Yes, yes. And the Aura Master, big ups for spouting the already have a corner demon. This is, I like to get one corner demon ready, you know, for you guys. This is a hand picked corner demon. So there we go. In the house uh, is a big ups to, let me see if I can get it back. Big ups, big ups, big ups to the first contribution of the day, my friends. And climbing. <laughs> I'm not, I'd never say in climbing. I'm not, I'm not that much of a douchebag. Jasper the cat in the house says, Too much pre clum. Fill May 1st, my chance of fame. <laughs> I like that. I like that. I like that. Good news there. May 1st as a verb is something I've never heard before, but I'm down for it. May 1st, my chance of fame. As in, he spread it out along the carpet, I guess you could say. Big ups. <laughs> Big ups, Jasper the Cat. You're a legend. But anyways, today, 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 what a day it's been. We're going to get into, uh, I guess we should get, we should get Atlas the Bookkeeper's initial take on the documentary being canceled. I mean, I have to ask you about it, right? People are going to flip out. So Atlas, what's your initial take on this announcement today that the document is now canceled? Go ahead. Uh, yeah, I saw that today, live on stream. Uh, <laughs> Nugs came in, broke the news. We went and checked it out. I, uh, I had a big pop-off for it, I'm not going to lie. Mm -hmm. um, I'm kind of miffed. Uh, all of his excuses are, in my opinion, bullshit. Uh, he threw Cat under the bus again, mm -hmm. which is just disgraceful. Mm -hmm. um, he sucks, but everyone kind of knew that already. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, and... I guess I still haven't seen it myself, the moment itself. I'm just, I've been, because, you know, weekends are my operating family time. So I could really catch up. So I got to catch up myself. So I'm going to, I'm going to reserve my comments until I get a full look at the, at, at how it was revealed and all that stuff. Because, you know, you can see into what Phil's really thinking when he, he has to share something. So uh, I'll share my thoughts tomorrow, obviously. But um, obviously it's big news. Let's say it's, I mean, it sucks. That's the thing I know. It does suck because as, he, it just would have been fun. All that stuff would have been fun. So that's the one thing I will say is it does suck uh, that it's not going to happen because I wanted the world to see. I wanted more people in the world to see uh, Phil's nonsense, but that's gone now. But anyways, anyways, anyway, so much more news to drop this year, I'm sure. Let's not get too down about it. Who knows how it would have been. I did like the idea, though, that Phil said um, that it was going to be like just this redemption story. Like he just knew he was going to be the hero. You know what I'm saying? And that's probably the only reason he agreed to it. You know what I'm saying? He kind of continued that um, by saying, uh, I know, he, like you said, you haven't seen it yet, yeah, but he yeah. goes on to say like, oh, I want this to be like a swan song and I'm not done yet. There's still so much positivity left and, you know, we're going <laughs> to keep doing the thing and I'm not finished yet like all these other YouTubers. And then he started complaining about all those other, you know, 
popular successful youtubers that have been retiring recently yeah um, because they can <laughs> you know <laughs> yeah yeah because they didn't mess up every opportunity they had yeah, yeah. those ones like, those assholes that can actually retire yeah they suck i'm gonna last longer than yeah. that really cool dude really cool dude. all right <laughs> let's get into it let's get into it so i found something interesting here may 5th 2011 hey that's the date we're looking at today he says i'm now accepting questions for today's episode of ask the king post up and he posts up at 2.18 p.m. And just to show you the popularity of this of this gentleman, uh, at 3.12 p.m. of the same day, which means that was up for like 20 minutes. Yet, thanks all. Now I now have enough questions for today's episode of Ask the King. So these questions you heard were, I guess, collected over a span of about 20 minutes from uh, the wisest minds on the Internet, I guess. So here we go. Super Revo Turbo shirt on and rocking. Let's get going. You know what we're going to hear first. Oh, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> when is that gonna end? I wonder. <laughs> it doesn't last Hi, that long. Everyone. Oh Welcome God, here we go. To the May fifth, twenty eleven edition of Ask Yeah, Me. hell yeah. I'm DSP, and uh, <laughs> lots of questions to Hip get the hat to. right yeah, off the, the bat. I'm like loving that. it. <laughs> yeah, he's feeling it today. <laughs> nice. I'm DSP, and yeah. uh, hey, lots he's. of questions to get to. Oh, uh, flash, this time flash. Around, so let's get right into it as usual. Uh, yeah. First of all, before I actually do start answering the questions, I would like to say, uh -oh. uh, just to remind everyone again, this weekend, I'm going to be at the Too Many Games video game convention in Ooh. Pennsylvania. That I've seen that Saturday, tweet. You just pulled that up. Yeah. There. We're hoping to get there by 1 to 2 p.m. Oh, big uh, ups. the end of the day. And then also... Too Many Games. Uh... Oh, stuck in massive traffic on the way to Too Many Games. This blows. We are now in dead stop traffic. Two flip trucks so far. We've only been on the road for one hour. We are finally moving, but I have no idea if we're going to make it in time for our 4 p.m. panel at Too Many Games. Oh, another panel that would have been. This is one that he didn't do, did he? I don't remember the Too Many Games. Is Too Many Games the one where Air Raid Lord is at? Because that's, um, that's worth showing. I'll tell you that. Uh, I want to say yes, but yeah. I might I might be misremembering so that's interesting he was going to do a panel there and dsp does have a too many games playlist uh that i'm not really interested in watching let's watch the first video I'm, oh, as far as i let this field trip go the first video from this awesome playlist oh leanna simps rejoice she's oh in the back seat of course oh are you serious she's gonna be in the back seat is Ram uh rambo's driving and we got leanna in the back seat Oh no, Phil's also in the back seat. Okay, never mind, never mind, never mind. All right, so we're on our way to too OJ many games. OJ in the front. OJ in the front, yeah. Studs in the front. Rambo and OJ in the front. <laughs> Everyone in the car. In the back, bitches. And the people, are, people, uh, are, the people, people really want to see her in the front. GWB <laughs> traffic, which is pretty typical for going this way. Yeah, it sucks. Nothing you can do about it. It's like the longest five miles of highway ever. Nothing you can do, like dude. 45 Classic. days to get through it, but we should hopefully. We we actually, have. we're already wet much further than we were last year at this point. <laughs> we have hope. We have Snapple. Is that we Rambo are... driving Phil's BMW, you know what I'm saying? Uh, yes. Exploded in front of us uh, yet. <laughs> like, like, <laughs> look at that BMW. <laughs> yeah, hell yeah. All right, we're not watching this. Uh, but anyways, that's it. But the most interesting part to me is that he was supposed to do a panel there that we lost. Um, Air Raid Lord. Lord. DSP Dad, I think, will give it to me. Ty... Uh, here's something. You know, like comic. Oh yeah, it is. It is. It is. It is. Okay, so hype. Wait, no, this is. What, is this? Where's this from? Is this that one? Well, what? What's going on? How old are you? Twenty-eight. I can't watch this. I cannot watch a Red Lord interview people. Twenty-eight. Yeah. Public information. Oh okay. Oh okay. I forgot for a minute. All right, I've seen this too many times. You know what I'm talking about. This is the one where it says like. <laughs> Air Raid Lord meets his, tells Phil, "Do you want to meet my dad and stuff?" You've seen, we've all seen the clip, haven't we? Do I need? Oh, to play I definitely it? have. Okay. I definitely okay. have. If, if you haven't seen it, I know I can't find it for some reason. Anyways, let's just listen to Ask the King. Come on. So Sunday will be there all day from ten to five. We're actually holding a panel from four to five p.m. in panel. Oh, room. that's at New York Comic Con. Shout out to Black Doom for that. So that was not that one. Okay, so that wasn't even the one. So now I'm not showing it. Two. Uh, on Saturday. So if you're interested, please, if you're if you're in the area, come by, come see us, hang out with us, mm -hmm. uh, check Very out the fun. panel. It's going to be basically me talking a little bit about what I do, how I turned this hobby into a career, 
uh, that actually financially supports me and also and did he talk about anything else ever god no, damn we'll <laughs> that's pretty much the only option you got uh, what i'm really hoping to get are some unique questions about you know Ooh. what Leave i do room. on youtube the, the technicalities of youtube uh how i what i do that i feel is different from other people that maybe is the reason why i'm more popular than god do i'm so do, different stuff like that so anyway Shut up. folks pennsylvania i'll put the link to the website and it's not like videos, other girls. <laughs> so uh, check us out. Come see us and uh, hang out with us. This oh week. no, he did it. He did it. I'm an asshole. The guy. Sorry today. I'm just. I'm just off the ball today. He did do the too many games. Uh, that was in 2012, though. So I guess in 2011, because the 2012 one is right here. So this one did happen. <laughs> I like the thumbnail. Lies. Bidding. <laughs> <laughs> too many games. So this is 2012. So the next year he did make it, and he did do a panel. However, in 2011, there was too much traffic. It did not happen. There we go. Lore has now settled. Yeah. But anyway, on to the main event. Um, first question. First question. Hey, Phil, if you were to move away from Connecticut, where would you like to move and why? And that's from Ghost Assassin 38. Um, that's a really good question. And until <laughs> I started doing this, you know, playing video games and making videos for YouTube. And the I packed panel into, was actually magfest. Uh, my full-time job. Uh, I really didn't have an option to move because it's very expensive to move. Uh, as you know, <laughs> the job uh, market right now is horrible. But even yeah. previously, let's say around the year, between the years 2000 yep. and 2005. Job market I never hires it. people. It's weird. But even then, it was hard. It, it's hard I was to just about to say, I've never heard anyone explicitly say the job market's an doing an great. You can just you never, to, ever find a job in America. That's crazy. You can afford everything in that area. It's difficult. Um, so up Never, to right ever. now, until I started doing this as my job, I don't know really anybody who's employed. Option. So <laughs> in any economy ever. <laughs> move it. Now I Good realize luck. the more that I think about it, as long as I can keep making as much as I'm making right now, uh, doing this, I could pretty much move to anywhere in the country, uh, and uh, I'd be <laughs> yeah. fine because you don't need to be in a certain location to what play video ass, games man. and upload videos. You'd be anywhere as long as the internet connection is decent. You can do it. So. I've thought about it from time oh, to time. That kind of limits and, uh, you still you know, to quite I, a few I've places. I've been to the West Coast yeah. many times, California in particular. Oh. A totally different mentality there than it is from the East Coast. A oh. lot more. We're going to get a little liberal? Laid back, a lot less hustle and bustle. <laughs> uh, it seems like people are less stressed out over hustle there. Hustle and good bustle. <laughs> um, but at the same time... Oh, so that's interesting. So he did have the thought of West Coast already. And, you know, they have bad weather. They have natural disasters like earthquakes and stuff like that. Smog <laughs> in L.A. Uh, I thought about moving to the Midwest. You're not gonna move to LA. LA. That was like, was that ever even an option? He just, he just spitballing right here. So he said, because we got West Coast, LA. I have smog, <laughs> 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 desolation of smog, and uh, it sounds like Midwest is an option. All right, cool. Hate. Oh, wait, wait. it's a more arid climate. Definitely, arid? it's the humidity here in Connecticut that I absolutely hate. Oh, humidity. Oh, oh yeah, Connecticut humidity. That famous. <laughs> That but they're known for <laughs> that famous Connecticut humidity. Got to stay away, guys. And uh, in the Midwest, it, they, you don't have that kind of stuff. Oh. But at the same time, in the Midwest, it's also a different mentality uh. as well. Uh, <laughs> as a Midwesterner, I got to tell you, uh, it's humid all like a lot. It's, it's, it's humid a lot. It's, it's, it's not you don't you don't have the Connecticut humidity. So come on. So I don't know. Oh, yeah, I yeah, yeah. I don't know nothing about that. I would have to really think about it, and I'd have to find a reason, a real reason to move to a certain place. Maybe. I mean, yeah. ultimately, when you think about it, the, the, the ideal state would be you live somewhere where there's such low crime, you can leave your doors unlocked, you're friendly with all the people uh, around you. Everyone, here we go. I want Sesame Street, basically. Yeah, no you, shit. You respect you. <laughs> I want and, Sesame uh, Street, please. But then again, they leave you alone to do what you need to do. So, for example, you know, with me doing this unique thing that I do that, you know, no one would be too uppity about me doing it. And, uh, but also nice. No one would be too uppity? What? Hold on, yeah, like again. people kinda... are gonna look down on <laughs> yeah. him. I was kind of fading, so I lost him. They said uppity. Hold on, uppity. But then again, they leave you alone to do what you need to do. So, for example, you know, with me doing this unique thing that I do, that you know, no one would be too uppity about me doing it. Oh yeah, I'm so special. I'm so special. I don't want people to look down on me because I'm doing something so unique and special. I'm... Come on, guys. I'm just a normal guy. Come on. That's what it's all about right here. That's all we're caring about. 
I'm just I'm just trying to figure out who he is talking about that would hear that this person's an online content creator and then be like, oh, that guy? Yeah. Nah, not can, him. Can I take your order, please, sir? Uh, yes, I'm a 15-year content creator. Oh, oh, get away from here. Get out of this right now. Get out of here, sir. We don't uh, have, sir, we don't you're trespassed. Your don't come back. <laughs> we don't take your kind. <laughs> And, uh, but also nice weather, uh, maybe no humidity and also no heavy snow. I mean, there's a lot of no humidity, zero percent um, humidity. I probably, I, I probably say well, no matter where I move, it would have to be a drier climate. I really don't like the uh, fact that we, yep, can... yep, Seattle. <laughs> I was, what I was just about to say, Washington. Yeah. Okay, great. Yeah. No, they don't. They it never rains there. It's crazy, dude. <laughs> but it's also great weather and no snow. <laughs> in the winter, and, the and they don't. No one's uppity, so that's. We get high humidity yeah. in the summer. Yeah, at this it's point, I'll take no snow. Ass. I'm over it. It's like the yeah. worst of both worlds. And uh, ah, if I can find a place that at least has less. Uh, that's what. Less Black people. Of that, uh. That's where I would. <laughs> 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 just say what you're thinking, brother. <laughs> Say it with your chest, dog. It, it is what of, it is for you. A lot of random stuff, you know. Just say what you're thinking. Enough of the, the nonsense. <laughs> Next question. DSP, okay. on the Next question. Game Moving on. That you really dislike to the point that it's actually a painful experience, and the viewers do not want you to continue. Would you drop it, or would you take the viewers? Huh? Would you drop? Would you? This guy's contradicting himself because he's asking me would I drop the game or would I take the viewers' opinion? But he's saying the viewers' opinion was to not continue. Uh -huh. So I'm kind of confused. Uh, would you continue with the viewers? Ooh, you won? typed this okay. out. You didn't notice. From JC who won. Um, JC who oh ball the scratch. The question is well. That's a epic. That's a that's a ball <laughs> scratch. I wish need a ball scratch counter. We're here for a while too. Look at this. Look at the okay. juggling going right it's here. From JC who won. Ready? Juggle, um, juggle, that juggle. Is, well, take a look at <laughs> nice. Take a look at the game I'm playing right now. Thor. Uh, these games Ooh, are not Thor. good. They're not. They're very not. They're they're not good at all. And. Um, Shout out to Thor. Not so, good. They're very not. Honestly, you know, are there times when I want to quit a game? Yes. Pick, but unless the game pick. is absolutely Ooh, do, two hand pick. horrible, or if there's a really the no chance of me uh -huh. beating a certain part of a game, unless I really just this? tried Looking 7, down times, I'll probably 99% of the time beat the game. So, for example, right now with what Thor, am I liking here? the game? Not really. I'm really so not sure. He's got like a hangnail, maybe? There's a couple things that are what interesting. I like his abilities, but the graphics aren't too hot. Look at the, all right, watch his left hand. He does the twist, so he gets what he wants in this all this harvesting, and then he does the you know the booger kind of twist, twist, twist style twist. Couple things that are interesting. Look at his like right, his left hand. His left hand. Uh, all right. See, the there it is. Twist, 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 twist. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, the, the the gameplay itself is a lot of it is repetitive. rolling it off. You yeah, know, it's a little. It yep. It's not that great of a game. He's rolling a fat. But one. I'm gonna beat it. I am. I'm gonna play it till I beat it. <laughs> uh, now, on the flip side of that, I can like flip hardcore. Side. Uprising, which is supposed to be the spiritual successor to Contra, but really isn't. Successor, it really hell yeah. It's not as good as any of the real Contra games. The last boss is retardedly fucking hard. Whoa. He's like Oof. nothing in the entire game up to that point. Retardedly hard. It's ridiculously cheap instant deaths, and they expect you to play the game so much that you level up and buy enough items that you can beat this guy to get uh, double jump, double air dash, and stuff like that. Damn, they expect John you to Randall play the game. Uh -huh. I hate that. that. He didn't have those abilities. Why can't Fuck I just that. win? I'm not going to spend endless hours ah, grinding through a I don't shitty want to play game, your game because you made a bad game and you expect me to to get abilities to kill the last <laughs> right. boss. I Thank mean, I got the end your of the game without that. having to grind. Now you Dr. expect me You're to grind your through your game to fucking beat the last boss. Fuck you. Oh, hell yeah. The game's not worthy, and I'm just not going to do the it. The game's not um, worthy. Wow. Another game would be like Skate 2, and a lot of people said that my Skate 2 playthrough was hilarious because I got so frustrated. That's what the people are going to say when he moves. Skate 2 He's not worthy. Skate 2 has a very steep learning curve. You need to <laughs> yeah, play yeah. the hell out of it to learn it. Now, the game is really good, but I don't have endless weeks to play the game. You know what I mean? Skate 2 is the kind of game you buy it and you play it for a month, and you really master the controls. You master everything about the game. I didn't have that option at that time. There were other games I wanted uh, to play. At that time, I wasn't I even doing I this full practice. time. Yeah, I was yeah, only playing yeah. a couple hours a day. So I said, you know what? I'm passing, and oh. I'm not going to keep playing Skate 2. That was the, we did the pre-check, pre and then, what do we call this again? The Stein Demon. A couple hours a day. <laughs> so Look, I stare said, at it, stare you know at it. Look. I'm passing, and I'm not going to keep yeah. playing it, There we go. Looking for that Stein w Demon. We found it. You got to double check. You're never <laughs> safe. Skate 2. So it really depends on the situation. If it's a game that I feel Ooh. I can beat in a legitimate a amount luck. of time, <laughs> even if it's a bad game, I'll still Didn't beat give it. give it a look, though. Must um, not have been good. No, oh, other good. side now. Other side of the even side. it out. If it's a game that I feel Ooh, is not worth my time, I will. Itchy lobe here. Won't. And that's 
and that's really what I, the <laughs> philosophy that I've used. Um, like if I never like if you start we start to do this regularly now, you know, now we see like it is endless. He has to be picking at something. It just Oh amazing. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's all your fault I've noticed cuz yeah. I really never looked before. I tr I try not to look at the guy as much as possible. But yeah. when I'm on this show, always looking. <laughs> oh, this was the har harvest ear and then look if there's something else left. Look, let's see. Now he's looking. Huh? Anything here I can get? Hang on. He's still working oh, under on the that fingernails. Right Got to yeah. make sure. That right hand has something going on. Games want me to quit games, but I'm like Thor. People are saying stop playing it. No, I'm gonna beat it. Sorry, I'm gonna beat the game. Sorry, no, I'm not a quitter. So yeah. I am gonna beat Ooh, Thor. He's not a quitter. quitter. I beat Conduit. That too. does not hold up today. No. And, uh, yeah, that's just my mentality. Qu quit all kinds of stuff. Right, the next question. Hey, Phil, oh, by the way, I forgot to start my timer. Which is cool. Here, so <laughs> yeah, so ten minutes. Gotta, gone. gotta keep the hey, modern Phil, viewers in. A release date for Minecraft on November 11th. Notch, who's the Look creator, up. commented that the official release of the game will okay. not have any difference from the beta. November 11th is around the time of many major releases, like Skyrim, Modern Warfare 3, Battlefield 3, Uncharted 3, uh -huh. etc. Notch believes Minecraft can compete with these major games. Uh -oh. My first question is... Oh, sweet. This really Minecraft does. Compete this with reads like a book report. Uh -huh. <laughs> We're going to get some <laughs> Minecraft slander here coming up. I hope he says it's going to fail, too. I hope. <laughs> Biggest, like, God. biggest game of all time, you know? Major <laughs> games. And the second question, are you going to reconsider uh, playing Minecraft on its release date? Because in the present, you've commented that you won't play it. Yes, this question is from XP Sunny D. For kids. So for your first question, is do I kids. think that Minecraft can compete with these major games? Here we go. Absolutely not. Yes! Not <laughs> oh, my <laughs> God. At all about business or marketing. Here's the deal. The reason they I don't won't even play know. Minecraft is because it is free. It's the same reason that so yep, many no one's spending money on Minecraft. It's the same reason dude. that people on YouTube Nobody. get millions of views. It's free. When you offer something for free, everyone's gonna play it. It's that simple. Or watch it, or whatever. You know what I mean? If right now there was an X Men. That's movie crazy. That was His videos are still free, and that that's not the case. <laughs> Nobody's watching that shit. Isn't that wild? So I know this like is not the most scientific of lists, so we never really know. But um, Minecraft was released on November twenty eighth of two thousand eleven. Which would, which is like, if uh, you know, six months after this was recorded, and Phil just said it won't, it won't, um, you know, it won't compete with any of the games. Let's look at the highest selling games of all time list. <laughs> Number one is Minecraft, <laughs> released on November eighteenth, two thousand eleven. <laughs> so, could there be the big? Could there be a more bigger in terms of scale? worst predictions ever you know what i'm saying like it wasn't like the game <laughs> sold as well as those games it became the highest selling game of all time <laughs> but yeah i know it was and he said and it, stuff, yeah. it's flopping nobody is yeah. nobody is playing or buying this game <laughs> like i know it's cheap and stuff and it's not the same but you know it's just funny to be that wrong you know <laughs> we're free over the internet and it was a high grade thing everyone would watch it and it would become one of the most popular things ever <laughs> but if you make people pay for it, uh -huh, it's a what's completely gonna happen? different thing. <laughs> so Notch is basically going to tell people, starting on November 11th, if you like Minecraft, you have to pay for it to buy it. Uh -huh. And I'm not adding anything new. So basically, you're just going to pay to yep. continue playing the game you've been playing for over a year now with no improvements. Guess what, <laughs> Notch? You're a fucking idiot. <laughs> Most people are not going to pay for a game they've been playing for a year. Yeah, not just downstairs new. crying sure, right now. There are people who <laughs> not just cr downstairs crying in one of his 14 mansions. <laughs> keep paying for games like World of Warcraft, but take a look at World of Warcraft. Massive amount of content, uh -huh. constantly being updated, yep. multiple expansions, a social aspect to it. There's a reason to pay for that game. There's no that sounds like he's Minecraft. describing Minecraft, Minecraft now, sure. to be honest I, with I, you. I Dude, Notch, if you're listening, could you please buy Scopely and then just close the company? <laughs> no, just, oh, close, Jesus. just close WB Champions. That's all we want. You can keep everything else going. And I know you'll lose a lot of money, <laughs> but like, please. <laughs> Or do Elon it, Musk, do it for us. Listening. Yeah, Elon Musk, uh, you know, Mark Zuckerberg, all these people, if you're listening, please. <laughs> it's a crappy graphics engine, but it's a fun game. You get to build whatever you want. You know, there's all kinds of interesting stuff going on there. Uh, but if you pay for it, that's it. I mean, uh, that's the bottom line. The bottom whoa. line is people have played this hey, one game. Is that, that the double that the bottom free? line? Was that a double shot? The bottom line, bottom line? That's it. I mean, that's the bottom line. The bottom line is people have oh, played this nice. one game for a year and double a half. Double barrel. Most people are not going to pay for it. It's that simple. So 
You're, this this question is very timely. When you're we're gonna try to release that game uh -huh. at the same time as Skyrim, Modern Warfare 3, Battlefield 3, Uncharted 3, people who have not played Minecraft are gonna look at this shitty graphics engine and say, <laughs> "What the fuck is this? I'm gonna go buy Skyrim." You know, people who have bought played Minecraft up to that point are gonna have to make a decision. He's digging. Do I want to pay for a <laughs> game stop. I've not played for a year, year and a half with no improvements? He's whatsoever. gone through like four shovels at this point. He's going too hard on the dig. Since I'm being forced to pay, should I pay for something with high production values, etc., or mm -hmm. should I pay for this shitty game that I've played for free for a couple of years? I really strongly feel the answer is gonna be fuck Minecraft. Let's go play something else. So Notch. That, that turned oh, yeah. out to be false. <laughs> Three three hundred thousand sales. Um, the next highest selling game for two thousand eleven, oddly enough, is Terraria, which I know is another kind of cheapy game, uh, but that's definitely very fun too. Uh, the next two thousand eleven game is Call of Duty Modern Warfare Three. There we go. So, uh, just a few. Let's see how 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 much different were the sale? I know there's different prices, but it's just funny to compare. Uh, the 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 sales of Call of Duty Modern Warfare Three were twenty six million. Minecraft was at three hundred million, so just a little bit off there. Just a little bit. I say congratulations. Hey, we can't we can't nail them all, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So far, we're gonna miss. Probably you didn't find a way to monetize it. Now you're gonna try to find this this way to monetize it. It's not gonna work. Yep. My prediction: well, oh. Minecraft's gonna fade away. It's gonna go away. <laughs> or not, yep. gonna have to try to find a new way to take this business fade model away, and, boy. and make it. Or um, notch. Uh -huh. I'm fucking not. <laughs> He's gonna be homeless, dude. God Second damn, question was, am I gonna play Minecraft in a? He's gonna be begging on YouTube not. in a couple why years. Why Watch I out. Pay for that game, like that game again. It's made to be a free game. That's why people like it. It's a. Fun it's game made to, to be a free game. Oh yeah, made. <laughs> it's made. What game is he even talking about? It's not a game you pay for. Your game, absolutely not. Um. Another question. Too. Right, what's second question was, am I gonna play Minecraft in a release day? Absolutely not. I'm, oh yeah, no. Fuck you. Okay. I, I, yeah. Minecraft is made to be a free game. I love how far we're going with this take, too. <laughs> not, Minecraft is made to be a free game. Uh -huh. it's not a game you He's got for. heavy equipment digging that hole at this point. Dude, it is. <laughs> made to be a free game. Billions upon billions have been exchanged around the world because of that fucking Minecraft game. Why would I pay for that? <laughs> Mojang Studios sold for $2.5 billion, <laughs> and the only thing that they've ever done is Minecraft. Like <laughs> They don't need anything else at all. <laughs> but it's made to be a free game, Mojang. You fucked up the formula. Yeah. Yeah, you, yeah. You guys know what you're doing, obviously. Yeah, come on, you assholes. <laughs> That's not I got a business mind. degree you or know. whatever. Okay, next uh, question. Okay, uh... <laughs> Phil, if Machinima offered you a full-time job at some point, maybe to be in charge of all fighting game-related content, would you consider <laughs> look up, look up. doing things like covering every event, fighting game news, doing reviews, conducting interviews with competitive players? Okay, okay. This is this requires an Atlas prediction. Are we going to say yes to this or no to this? Will you be the kind of a job? It sounds like... Let me let him finish first, then I'll get your take. Hold on. Let me let him finish the question fully. Thank you. What would be reasons you would or wouldn't take it? And then he has a second question. Let me answer the first one. Nope. Yeah. Oh, I think I missed it. I, yeah, you, I think you spoiled yeah. it. I think the answer is going to be no, ALT. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> I should have got it. I think it's going to be no. I wouldn't do That's it. That's a good face, though. Do it. Here's a second question. Let me answer the first one. No. No. So listen to this. Okay. This is how this dude, why people, you know, why, why the decade of failure is the perfect name for this. Because... He was given so many opportunities. This is just a hypothetical one, but it would come true because, you know, hey, want to do this for us and kind of very you don't just count all your eggs in this fucking YouTube basket. It's going to die one day. Do you want to have try other stuff? And look at his take on it that fast. Not even a thought. I'm not doing anything else. What do I need to do anything else for? It's amazing. Yeah, he's so he was so stuck in his ways already and he just started. He he. <laughs> thought he was the king the you know top of the crop just the best of the best never had to change this was gonna take him to his billion mansions like notch yeah but... yeah yeah well i don't need anything else i got the perfect formula right now fuck you not even a thought and we're not even getting there oh i hope he's gonna sit the reasons now is oh, he i wouldn't do it why the reason i wouldn't do it very simply put um at this point i love what i'm doing i love playing all different kinds of games and i wouldn't trade that for the world i i <laughs> I like could, fighting games, but I don't like them do to both. the point where that's all I'm going to do. I was just about to say, you can literally do both. Marvel 3 came out. 
to decide whether or not I really wanted you to. You did it as a hobby before. before. You could do it part time yeah. later. I wanted like it's... to do other stuff. And after playing Marvel 3 for a couple of weeks, I said, you know what? The game's good, but I just don't want to get hardcore into it. I don't want fighting games to be the only thing I do. There are people in the fighting game community who all they do is play fighting games. And I would be bored out of my fucking mind if all oh, yeah. I did was play the same do we get just games a long over mission? and over or Mortal Kombat or whatever. Oof. I love I playing so. a variety of games that I do. I have a lot of fun doing it, and I think everyone enjoys I don't think watching so. me do it, and that's why I'm so popular. And I'm able to do this as a full-time oh, thing. So if I were to be hired as a full-time job to just cover fighting games, sure, I might be able to live off of it, but I probably wouldn't enjoy it as much as I'm doing right now. Uh -huh. So, no, I wouldn't do it. Honest answer. Uh, the second question, would you ever do a weekly or monthly top ten series, having people submit their best clutches, combos, funny moments, etc., to put on DSP Street Fighter with your added commentary. Oh, that I think it'd be an interesting new series. Maybe something Fourth to try. Fourth place doesn't get anything. I'm sorry. And both of those questions, by the way, were from Slick. Uh, that is an interesting concept. Yeah, it's not something I've really we thought about, uh, but it is somewhere uh, that's potential for some, for it to grow. You know what I mean? DSP Street Fighter. Right now. Oh, you're right. We are. Really I'm, I'm missing it. You guys are right. There's a lot of extra swaying going on. Footage. Seated swaying. And coverage of fighting games, well, but that doesn't necessarily isn't it all seated swaying <laughs> at this point? <laughs> True, true, true. I don't know why I said seated. Next question. Uh, I've been, seated. It's been confirmed. <laughs> I completely knew it. Got a bad back, two. dude. Can't stand up. <laughs> It'll have a new name. Uh, we'll make its appearance at E3 in June. Okay. The controller for the Wii 2 will be an all-new and has an HD screen built into it. Nintendo ah, also Switch. said that the hardware is even more powerful than current HD consoles. No, nah, Wii okay. U. I oh, know, but he, this. I, oh, is it Wii U or Wii Two? I thought he said Wii Two, but you might be right. He said Wii, Wii Two, yeah. but I, I think that's uh, they're talking about oh, the Wii yeah, U. Yeah, okay, they just yeah. didn't call it that. He also said that the hardware is even more powerful than current HD consoles and backwards compatible with the Wii. To get people ready for the release of the Wii Two, we're Rockstar 2011, is planning, so yeah. uh, is supposedly yeah. already planning to bring Grand Theft Auto Five to the console. <laughs> Other gaming companies are following behind Rockstar and making their games ready for this console. My question is, do you think that the new system will make hardcore, game, hardcore gamers go buy it, I guess, as opposed to the Wii? Yeah, Wii U. Wii U was released in 2012, so yeah. And also, how will people be able to choose which system to get games on if it's in all three of these systems in HD? And this question is from Troll Drill. Um, here's my thoughts on the new console. And by the it way, sucks. he's not the only person to ask that. Several people ask this sucks, question. Everything sucks, so it's going to be sucks. Yeah. Nintendo, you it's know, a shame everything sucks, they're though. very wishy-washy, and it's <laughs> wishy funny because they were so gung-ho behind the Nintendo is wishy-washy. All of a sudden, it's time to release a new console, and I think Nintendo, I think wishy-washy. Every mm -hmm. time. Let's think about this for a second. Our company completely supports motion controls. This is the wave of the future, but our new console doesn't have it. Hmm. I think what Nintendo did, they were very mm -hmm. smart. They made the Wii, they cashed in, they realized that the Wii was going to be a console for the casual audience. They didn't make it HD because they could keep the costs down that way. And uh, okay. they made a shit ton of money off of it. Yeah. And now that the money train is finally drying up, because it is, if you look at the sales numbers, the Wii is not selling nearly as much as it was a couple years ago. <laughs> uh, actual that, game that happens <laughs> with every console. Yeah. yeah. You know what happens when everyone on Earth pretty much buys a console? There's not as left people left that can buy it. <laughs> I have, I know, I know so many people in real life whose families like wound up like two or three yeah. Wii's by the end just because like it like broke or they just lost it and they bought a new one because like they weren't that expensive. Yeah, dude, just... that was like the most insane, <laughs> insane success for Nintendo ever. Of course, he hated it, of course. But yeah, let's hear it. Now there's the sales are slowing down after what? It was released in 2006, my friends. The Wii was released in 2006. And now in 2011, he's saying, the sales are slowing down. <laughs> yeah, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Six, almost five years later. Holy shit. Game sales for the Wii are dramatically down. Yeah. Uh, Nintendo's looking for a way to make more money. And they realized now, oh, okay, how dare so they? it was a cool gimmick. But now we have to go back to the hardcore gaming audience, which we might have even lost during this time when we were focusing on just making money with the casual gamers. So well, they're, they're making a new console. It's going to be HD, which is what everyone wants. And uh, it's going to be more for the hardcore gamer. It's probably going to be the Nintendo 64 of this era. Ooh, I take uh, and, okay. Uh, <laughs> what do I think about it? I guess the first, his first question was, do I think the new system will make hardcore gamers go buy it? As long as there are games to play. So if they make a new HD Mario, if they make a new HD Metroid, if they make a new HD Zelda, if they make these AAA Nintendo console okay. exclusive titles for the new system, 
Yes, hardcore gamers will buy it. Bottom line. Yes, the oh. answer is yes. If they don't, if they focus on uh. bullshit, people aren't going to buy it. It's all about the games. It always has been all about the games. It always will be all Didn't about the Didn't they make games. all of those That's things the and the Wii U talking. still yeah. sold like That's, shit? Yes, yes. <laughs> now, as opposed to the Wii, Wii U is not a great seller, and they did make hardcore Zelda, Metroid, all those games. It's not about the He's games. He's really 0 for controls. 2 on uh, takes today. <laughs> yeah. Minecraft's not selling. Wii U's doing big numbers. Uh, is, don't take is, business advice from this guy. I'm telling you. It's all the take so he can be right about how people don't care about motion controls. Oh, no Metroid on Wii U. Okay, Matthew, that's where they dropped the ball. They did drop the ball. They didn't do oh, Metroid. Oh, damn. Oh, son of a bitch. Well, the 3D, it's about the games. Okay? Oh, there's no 3D. That's though. why the 3DS has gone on sale. And actually has lower sales numbers than Nintendo forecasted Dude. because there's no fucking games. I hope we're not talking about 3DS being a failure too, brother. This is not That's good. what I'm hearing. <laughs> <laughs> this is the L Take show. There's nothing more <laughs> Holy okay. shit. Are we saying the 3DS is a failure? <laughs> Second question oh was how will you be able to choose Oh, we're moving on. Okay, on? thank God. Didn't want to dig that hole too, too deep. In the past couple of years has really become a... a, a, a a console where most games aren't on it. Um, it's really just these Wii exclusive titles that end up on the Wii. If you choose between a game on Xbox 360 or the Wii version, you obviously want the <laughs> Who, who would have guessed that? Wii exclusive titles end up on the Wii. Who do? <laughs> what? Xbox 360. Never saw it coming, man. Nothing that. you can do. Now, if this HD console is just as good mm -hmm. as current generation consoles, then it might be a little bit more tricky. Okay. <laughs> However, All right. here's the problem. People already have the Xbox 360. People already have the PlayStation 3. These consoles are established and have been out for a very long okay. time. If you try to release a new Nintendo console in HD, chances are the games that will come out for all three consoles, so let's say Call of Duty, because we know there's a Call of Duty game every year. People are going to probably buy it dramatically more for Xbox 360 and PS3 than, the Wii, than this oh. new Wii console, because... Most people already have those consoles. They're already established. They're used to the control scheme. It's that simple. Unless Nintendo finds a way to secure something exclusive for these titles for their new console, I really don't see that these cross-platform games are going to be purchased for Really? Really console. on these nails Nintendo's today? Yeah. They have to purely focus on releasing AAA titles for their console that are their console exclusives. Yeah. That's how they're going to succeed. Okay. Now, Got it. I do have a couple comments. That's why the Wii U did the great. The first comment about this I want to make is that it's saying that there's going to be an HD screen now on your controller. Now we're starting with comments? What were we talking about? Who fucking cares? Nobody. It's oh. another gimmick. No one gives a shit. Oh, when you're playing shit. a game, guess what you want to do? What do you want to do? You want to look at your fucking TV and play the game. Oh. You don't want to have 20 distractions mm. going around. You don't want to have to fucking juggle yeah. your hands in the air with motion controls. That's what or you have fucking like things jumping Wii, out right? of your TV with 3D. You just want to play the game. Ah. So this screen, it's another gimmick. You want to play the fail. game. <laughs> it's going to fail. There's no. It's not going to sell the console because you have an HD screen on your gamepad. In addition, for someone like me... I can't record that. How do you record a screen oh, on yeah. It's a oh, oh, that's, yeah. yeah, that's what they're worried about. Yeah, they're worried about whether well. or not DSP can record. I think of course. we found the reason that the Wii U didn't sell so well. Because it, <laughs> you couldn't record it easily. You couldn't screen grab it easily. Okay, okay. Uh -huh. That's a market of what? At least 100 million people right there. That need to have easy, easy to record screens set up. Uh, definitely important. Definitely very important. Nintendo, get, what's, you lost your way, Nintendo. Possible. So when I do playthroughs, imagine on this the new emails console, he was sending Nintendo of America. And to Mr. Miyamoto. That. That's, that's Nintendo's problem. That's Nintendo's bad. They really should realize that's a stupid idea. Sir Moto. The other thing that I find hilarious. In 2010, is I worked at a helicopter company. Yeah. yeah. On this console are going to be better than Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3. Um, hello, hello. Current TVs can do 1080p, and that's it. <laughs> Hold on. Hello is not usually used for like the door hello, is it? Like it's kind of, he's misusing the knock, is he? <laughs> Why are we knocking? Graphics on this console are going to be better than Xbox 360 okay. and PlayStation 3. Um, hello? <laughs> hello? Huh? Current TVs can do 1080p and oh. that's it. What are you going to do? Yeah, I usually wouldn't associate it with a knock. Yeah, usually yeah. like a phone call. It's so a weird would... hello usage. Just odd. Not 
not anything that wrong with it. Just very odd. I would never think to do that myself. Hello, I, hello. Well, I would neither. But phones have existed for a long time. I, if yeah. anybody, I thought it would be you. You know. <laughs> oh but, yeah. Okay. Possibly improve is maybe the, the detail of the textures. Maybe the I don't know the bump mapping. I mean, the what bump you mapping. Improve? Yeah, yeah, bump mapping. <laughs> oh, that's what all the gamers are concerned about is their bump, bump mapping. mapping. <laughs> I need to work on my bump Look, map. Like heavy rain. That Don't ask your average gamer about what their super bump super mapping looks like, and then like ask what the hell you're people. talking about. Bump what mapping. can Nintendo do better than that? Yeah, like, they need to work on their bump mapping. It isn't the 90s anymore. Where, <laughs> oh, you know, fuck. There was such dramatic leaps and bounds in technology that you went from 8-bit to 16-bit oh, to 32-bit oh to 64-bit to 3D, oh, you know, oh, then to, to fully scaled 3D models. Oh, my God. It's just, it, it's rapid the fire technology. technology. Past that era, so I don't know what Nintendo thinks they're gonna do with graphics to make them so much better than everyone else's. Oh God, yeah. I mean, I've seen What's the, up, engine, well, the Unreal Engine. Uh, was I'm not I convinced they the, were the uh, worried about the graphics like that. And, uh, it looks about the bump really mapping. <laughs> I, I like where it's going. They forgot that. I looked at it and I was like, that looks like heavy rain. <laughs> it really does. It looks like heavy rain. Heavy rain is probably one of the best graphical games. Ever made. I've been a fan so, since. <laughs> Both said it. Both said it. When the TV technology can't go past what it's at right now, it's at 1080p, uh -huh. and uh, the other consoles already look photorealistic. What else can you possibly do? I don't know. Yep. Maybe I'm wrong again. I looked photorealistic back in 2011. Uh, Holy shit, Next dude. question. Hey, Phil, I've recently seen a lot of other YouTube users do game playthroughs uh, with 30 minute long videos instead of 15 minute uh -oh. long videos. Would you think about making your videos 30 minutes instead of 15? Okay, now we can do a real prediction because um, he's doing, remember, he's doing this because he gets more money. That's why he's doing this. So, will he say he's going to think about that? Okay, how am I going to ask this question to you? Is it going to be positive or negative towards this question? It's the answer. Will he say, well, will it make it be a possibility is what I'll say. Will he say maybe someday in the future or will he straight out say no? That's the good, that's a good question. Um, I think he'll say someday in the future, but he's really, really going to lay in that like it's part of his process, the way he does the 15 minute videos mm -hmm. with his upload schedule and all of that. I'll, I'll even take it that that extra step and say he's going to go into about his process. OK, OK, here we go. It would probably be easier for you to not have to reset the camera after every 15 minute session uh -huh. and better for us to watch a longer part instead of loading up a video every 15 minutes. This person's Although giving the good, be bad idea good reasons compensated for ads and such per video. All right. right, and that's a question is from Purville. Um, up, honest Purvel. answer, because I'm an honest person. There's two major reasons why I'm not going to make my videos longer. Oh, no. Reason, oh, two reasons. Flat out, you know, no. I do get paid per view, video view. So uh -huh. why would I make a 30-minute long video when I can make two 15-minute long videos and get twice as much credit? Why would I care about wow. your experience? Why would I care about the viewer's experience? Make sense? <laughs> Sounds good to me. Why I can't believe he just outright said it like that, though. Uh -huh. I, I'll never understand being able to do that with a straight face. That's insane. Why would I give a shit about what you guys want? Okay, next point. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> yeah, big guy. That's that's a great point too. Then if it, where's the line, right? Because okay, I'll make thirty-one minute videos then if you're good after money, right? What's the, where's the line? 10, 10? Oh, for a 10, little 10, bit, that yeah. kind of was what he was doing. <laughs> Especially with the vlog stuff. You remember he was uploading all those like two minute long well, uh, videos and what shit? What he stuck with was, I th when he first started, there was a 10 minute limit. But then it got stopped r really quickly. But he kept doing that for a while because that's what I've always done. And he made the most money. I'm not sure when the change came to 15 though. But maybe someone in chat knows better than me. But... <laughs> However, Wait, he was he was releasing much shorter short than 10 minute videos too though. He he would re record the fucking food. Yeah, single match to Street Fighter, great one big guy. Yeah. He would do like a plate of food. Hey, we're at the, you know, we're at the Vinny's Pizza here. Look what we just got here. Great. All right, guys. See you later. And that's it. <laughs> See you yeah. in the next one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He made long videos and get twice as much credit. That's a no-brainer, okay? That's a no-brainer, dude. However, understand that I'm really not in this for the money, you know what I mean? <laughs> what? Like why? I can make three five-minute videos for every 15-minute video and get three times as many views as I'm getting right now, so... but that's not what I'm about, okay? Huh? I'm about efficiency and making it easier for you guys. Oh, you're right. Here's the bottom line. Oh, that was correct. Okay. Even though this guy says a lot of people are making 30-minute videos, and that may be the case, in my experience, when I'm doing videos that are longer, it, it has a lot more potential for problems. So, for example... 
When I'm uploading a 30 minute video, there's a lot more potential for that video to error out on I guess I was only half there's right. There's a lot more potential yeah, that it's getting, it's stuck in We're getting processed though. And from what people have told me, longer videos... Yeah, I get the latter half. I don't get the first half. For whatever reason, they take a shitload of, uh, of time to load. And I don't All understand right. that. I don't know why that is, but that seems to be the case. A lot of people have told me... Longer that. videos take longer time to load on YouTube. I mean, I don't know how YouTube was working back then, but... It's not like they load the whole video before they fucking watch, set, let you watch it. You know what I'm saying? That's not how it fucking works. <laughs> you know, but... Yeah, I wish I, I had some sort of YouTube experience back in the day, but yeah. I was uh, way too young. But yeah, if <laughs> I could have... I, I wish I... Did, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just wish I could I have some sort of um, experience so I could call them out for it, because I'm not buying this shit. That's what I'm saying. Like it, it absolutely doesn't work like this now, and I don't think it did then, but... Hey, I don't know. And Weston Evans says it never worked like that, but anyone else knows. Let yeah, us... so... <laughs> yeah, I'm not in it for the money, but I, yet I do do this for the money. Sounds good, right? It's a no-brainer. That's what he basically said. I can't make it better for money reasons, but <laughs> I, I won't make it worse because I'm not here for money reasons. Like, so, <laughs> It's a no-brainer. <laughs> Why would I make longer videos Sounds that are going to have me. higher potential for failure and also uh, give people problems with loading when I can make shorter ball ones scratch, that are a lot scratch. better? Now... On the flip side of that, like I said, again, sure, I can make three five-minute videos, but I also understand it's a hassle for people to keep clicking here, clicking here, clicking here, or only watching five minutes and then it ends. So I'm not going to move to that format either by any means. So <clears throat> I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing. There's no reason for me to go to a longer or a shorter format. I think right now I've got the ideal. Oh, there's no reason? The person, the person uh, you know, very correctly pointed out two good reasons. He says, you know. It's easier. People are doing 30 minute videos. I enjoy that better. That person even gave you two reasons, but of course, hey, get the fuck out of here. Honed in, roughly between like an eight to 15 minute Yeah, I didn't clip. hear that's good reasons. I just heard someone bitching AOT. What are you talking about? <laughs> the person that asked the. Yeah, that's true. I, didn't yeah. <laughs> I think he said homed in here. I just want to be clear here. Listen. So, honed in. I honed in. He's correct. He said roughly honed. between like an eight to 15 minute clip. That seems to be what's working for everyone, and that's what I'm going to keep doing. Yeah, hell yeah. Okay. Last question for this. Last question for part of one, boys. Episode before I run out of time here. Uh, hey, DSP, I was wondering if you would ever upgrade to 1080p quality uh -oh. instead of 720p video quality. That's from Tony Parker, 1996. And the answer, honestly, is right now, absolutely not. And the reason is because, I don't know Holy if you know this, shit, I said this dude. before, yeah. that's the thing, but 99% of games only go 720p. Uh -huh. Even though the game box says 1080p, those games are upscaling to that, meaning there's really no increase in quality. Okay. Most games are generated in a native resolution of 720p, and therefore filming them in 1080p won't make them look any better. Okay, fact check on this. <laughs> Did games upscale to 1080? I don't just I don't believe that was the case. Uh, and... I've I've never heard of that. <laughs> and okay, at this time, I I can't. I wish I had more facts as to how many games were on 720 and how many games were on 1080. I know, like, Nintendo was 720 for sure, but, I mean, how about that Xbox and, and shit, so... <laughs> better. What it will, will do is make the file bigger, take longer to upload again, have longer potential to error out when I'm uploading... I mean, the 360 was definitely in 1080. And like, the elites the, uh, and stuff. YouTube, yeah. It's a higher quality video. So okay, so the, it's, uh, people are saying really it's no true. For people are saying it's true. Well, like I know interlaced existed, but I, how much of it? How much of it was actually interlaced, and how much of it was just like genuine 1080? <laughs> I was a poor gamer back in the day. I didn't, I didn't have HD till like way, way late. <laughs> yeah, you got the last week on YouTube because it's a higher quality video. So okay, there's really no reason for me to film in 1080p right now. Now, if all games in the future switch to 1080p, then I could do it. I okay. actually have the ability with my camera to do 1080p. And I did do one playthrough in 1080p. It was StarCraft II. The reason I did that is because I, the, the, I was using a laptop which could do 1080p. And the game was in true 1080p. And Ooh. there was a lot of little things going on on the screen. As you know, it's a lot of micromanagement of small stuff on the screen. Uh -huh. It was very hard to see stuff if you had, uh, had it at a lower resolution. So... Uh. If games go that way in the future, I'll record that. But since right now most games are 720p, there's no reason for me to do that. All right, so that's the end of part one. All right, now get your bets in. Do we get the stand up and walk to the camera or not? Atlas, your prediction. Last, uh, as for a little extra info, last week he did not do it either time. Go ahead. I was going to say no before you even said that, so I'm going to stick right. with it especially. Maybe we're done. Has the step up and touch the camera era ended on Ask the Kings? It's a massive moment. Here we go. Here it happens. For one, I still have a shit ton of questions to get to. Oh, yeah, we're not even getting so up I'll yet. So I'll be right back with oh, part oh. two of Ask the King.
Yeah! Level up, boys. We're not doing it anymore. We edit that out now. What a hard worker. We're Level <laughs> uh, one and a half, I guess. <laughs> yeah. We're, we're going to downgrade later in life, but let one and a half right now. A little bit of editing. All right. We're not doing that anymore. Big up. We're evolving. Evolving. All right, part two. <laughs> Evolve. Welcome back to part two. Of oh, shit. It's the wrong one. Not this one. Get out of here. I was like, here we go. Sorry about it. Welcome back to part two of Ask the King. <laughs> he also edited the intro, and it's very awkward. <laughs> he jumps right in. <laughs> At weird. this weird till, what is yeah, going yeah, right? on? It's just a weird and first word. Ready? Go. Welcome back to part two of Ask the King from 2011. Let's get right into it, because I have two Flash. pages of questions to get through. It's like, oh, God. Okay. Ooh, okay. First question. Hey, Phil, I've noticed that you have not tried out any of the Connect games recently. Uh -oh. Dance Central was one of the most hilarious videos ever, and just seeing you moving in real oh, yeah, time it was. is even more Yeah, it was. Still is. Back injury Still used to this day. <laughs> Thanks for your reply. Solid Snake. Oh, uh, that's from Solid Snake. Um, yeah, Solid Snake. First of all, my question is, what the hell Connect games are you talking about? No Connect games have been coming out. That's the problem. Um, there really have not been any major releases for the Connect, and even Xbox Magazine admitted this. I was reading an article in it saying, "Wow, what's with the lack of Connect games <laughs> since the Magazine. release of the console?" Now, <laughs> on the flip that. side of this, there are going to be some really good, supposedly for, uh, really good Connect bathroom games reading later uh -huh. this year. There's going to be supposedly a survival horror one, uh, a Western shooter. <clears throat> well, that's sort of like an sick. action shooter game. Um, Foil. Bill Brass. And we'll see yeah. what happens when those come out, if their release dates are ever announced. Yes, burgers. Who knows? But um, right now, the games are only in they development. They're not actually on release comes. dates or anything. But yeah, bottom line is, since the Connect came out, there really has not been a lot to play. <laughs> and uh, the only game that I would even consider going back to playing right now is Dance Central, but I really didn't feel like there was any need to do that. And in addition to that, right yeah. now, because of the way that uh, my partnership's working with Machinima, um, it would be kind of hard to do that because it has copyrighted music in it, and although it is legal to do it, it might be a potential issue of dispute with YouTube having copyrighted music. I thought one of the reasons he loved Machinima so, so much really is right because now, they got, go like, special treatment in that. Yeah. But now it's a problem, he doesn't want to play with it, like... I think it's just too much work, so he's trying to s throw as much reasons at you as he can, you know? Oh, it might be a potential problem, I must, you know, just try to make whatever he can to get you out of it. Yeah. Yeah. that kind of game. Um, uh -huh. But if there are good games that come out for Connect later in the year, I'll play them. I'm just waiting for them. I'm like, where are they? Here we are five months into the year. Name one major Connect release. Because there have been zero. Ooh. Pretty much Microsoft sold all these Connects and then never made any new games for it, which is fucked up. No, if you <laughs> asked me to name a Connect release, <laughs> okay. I, could, I couldn't Next name question. one. But he Dear already Phil, said Dance Central, so yeah, I Dance guess Central. I can. I was trying to but get that's like, literally it. Like trying to get like release dates, but yeah, I can't. Just Dance. I mean, what else is there but just Dance? <laughs> I mean... Did they, yeah, I'm trying to look at the list here. I mean, there's a lot of games, uh, but it's all like, like how you, like there is like, all right, let's check out like they had fucking Elder Scrolls on there. That's true. How'd you do that though? <laughs> Zumba World yeah, Party. I'm <laughs> seeing Connect Star Wars. Isn't that a dance game? Uh, oh, Fable. <laughs> I remember that Fable game came out. Fable came out and like it was like on rails shooter or something. Everyone hated it. But yeah, anyways, I don't know. Connect was not cool in my mind. Not worth it. Oh, no, 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 no. We was clowning on everybody with a connect. Come on now. I recently made a YouTube channel that has technology reviews, and I have my own website. Oh, oh, hold on. Who is this? Is this is this the venomous fat man, James Lugo? Which are on YouTube. Hold on. Okay, next question. Dear Phil, as you prompted in your recent channel update... I, along with many others, want to get exposure on YouTube, and I recently made a YouTube channel. Okay, this guy has a YouTube. Please be James Lugo. Has technology reviews, and I have my own website. So here's my question. Would Do you, you have any question? tips to get yourself more exposure on YouTube than your competition? If so, what kind of exposure did you use? Whether it was uploading a ton of videos, advertising yourself, etc. Yes. Many thanks, and that's from Beachy. Oh, um, Beachy, fuck. Ha! I'm going to do a dick move here, and I'm going to say if you want to hear about that kind of stuff... You should come to too many games, and oh. later on this year, if I attend other oh, conventions, God. you should go to those. Shut the hell up. Reminder, he didn't end up going doing this panel, by the way. 
<laughs> That's a dick move. I'm not going to answer your question. Show up. And then you, what if he really showed up? Yeah, that, that dude came. You know, that dude went to this, to this fucking too many games. And then Phil doesn't show up. Now what? Damn. About that Lost another stuff. subscriber is what he, what he did right there. <laughs> Dent gone. Yeah. Way to yeah. go, idiot. Now don't worry. Oh, don't worry. If these questions come up at the convention, I am going to be recording the Q&A session. At I asked the, the question now, convention. though. So if you want to hear about this kind of stuff, I hope these questions come up. This is the kind of stuff I really feel like a panel is open to. Ask me questions about how YouTube works. What? Ask me how I became popular. Ask me what steps I used, why I think it worked. And why Ask me why I'm so cool and successful, please. Could you please give me a list of the differences of questions you want from Ask the King and your panel, sir? It would make it easier because I thought that was a fine question for Ask the King, but I guess not. Get the, get the fuck out of here, whatever your name was. It Peter. worked for me and not for other people who were trying to do similar things, etc. So, okay. Good question. Get we'll fucked. get to it eventually. Hopefully someone will ask it this weekend. Uh, okay. <laughs> I know that's a dick move. <laughs> yeah, good um, question. Hope somebody else asks it. Maybe I'll answer it then, Fly Bozo. Get him out of here. Monkey. And he says, how do you think the Fuck current fiasco here. with PSN getting hacked is going to affect <laughs> Sony okay. in both the short and long term? And what do you we're think get, We're not getting any fighting players? game questions, though. I'll say that. Oh, I wouldn't go well, mention I mean, it. You're yeah, asking for it now. True. This is like this is like business, like the gaming, you know, video game business style episode so far. But say yeah. this, but if you really want my honest opinion, my honest, true to God opinion panel. about <laughs> but if you really want my honest opinion, says panel. my honest True to God opinion about True to God opinion. True to God opinion. Remember, this doesn't True mean to he's being Jesus honest. or whoever. It doesn't like, mean he's being honest. It means he's being serious. Remember that, guys. Remember he said that. It's it's, it's ser mm. When I say I'm being honest, it means I'm being serious. Okay. What I think is going to happen with Sony and the PlayStation? Yeah. What's going to happen? I think it's done. Okay. What's what's done? Hold on. I want to hear this L take too. Opinion about what I think is going to happen with Sony and the PlayStation Three. I think it's done. I think oh, okay. that console you could stick a fork in it. It's gone. I don't think that any person in their right mind would choose the PlayStation 3 over the Xbox 360 if they're planning on ever going online with their console. Now, there's still going to be a market for it. People who want the best Blu-ray player on the market can get a PlayStation 3. People who want a gaming console just for offline gameplay and maybe want True to God. Yeah, God agrees. The PlayStation 3 is done. <laughs> Stick a fork in it. Agent 7 said it the right way. And by the way, God Thank agrees with me. <laughs> today. I appreciate it. And by the way, God agrees with me. <laughs> I'm taking that, Agent. I'm taking it. I'm running with it. People are going to hear that in real life now. And they're going to be pissed. Uh, that wasn't just a very good one. For all you fact suck, checkers out there, PlayStation 3 sold 87 million. Uh, um, uh, consoles, a huge success in every way. So let's just chalk this up to another L. <laughs> No one in their right fucking mind. Yeah, it sold more than Xbox 360, by the way, as well, which is, yes, it sold uh, only 3 million more, but yes, it did sell more, so there we go. would buy that to play online games. But to be Sony fair, the online experience on a PS3 the is uh, far inferior to the 360, <laughs> but, like, yeah. it was what it was, man. It's just funny. Hey, yeah, Steve of the Dead, you're, what's, what's up, man? And he says, to be fair, it's a, it's a pretty common take around the time. It took a while for PS3 to catch up, and that's fair, too, but it's just funny. To, this is the L-Take episode, for sure, so I'm going to put them all out. Trust. <laughs> it's that simple. When you sign the terms and conditions agreement, the EULA, or whatever the hell it is that, they, that this is, <laughs> yeah. the contract, when you Eula. sign on to an online service, whether yeah. it's Xbox Live, whether it's PSN, that is a, an agreement of trust between you and the company that you will not violate their terms, and they're going to take your personal information and keep it safe. Okay. A lot of people have been saying God. to me, Phil, why are you so harsh on Sony? It's the hacker's fault. Absolutely. One million percent correct. What is but this? the problem is there's always going to be an asshole. There's always going to be a hacker. There's always going to be a thief. <laughs> He's talking about when they got the PlayStation Network got hacked and oh, it was okay. down. Okay, you okay. remember? Thank you. Yeah, thank, you. thank you. Yeah, I do remember. Okay. And steal from you and oh. find the easy way um, and get something for nothing. So you have to have defense against it. Sony's defenses were weak at best. They were pathetic. <laughs> they crumbled under this guy's... Oh, the if they're so weak, why didn't you do it? <laughs> they were so why weak. Why didn't you pull out your, your $3,000 gaming laptop? <laughs> And 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 go to town. Why didn't you get your free money then? He's talking about it like it's a football game. You know, like their defense was weak at best. They were at not best. bringing the heat. Defenses were weak at best. They were pathetic. <laughs> they crumbled under this guy, the, the hacker. Whether it was anonymous or not, I don't care. Okay, I don't care Ooh. who was responsible. 
The bottom line is Sony should be prepared we for this We are on fire today with bottom line. And they were not. Six. And everything was compromised, and now all of our identities are at risk because of Sony. Uh-huh, your identity's at I risk. I could not see someone willingly putting down $300 of their hard-earned money and saying, Take, here's $300. Thanks for losing 77 million people's inf personal information, and I'm going to buy your console. It's, it's over. Well, I really think it, Sony is fair. now completely Someone else just got it. <laughs> Seven ways from Tuesday. Like, yeah, there's nothing lost. They still, lost they still, still have it, too. <laughs> Unless they have the specific reasoning of, I want to use like it as a Blu-ray player. Now. It's, yeah, it's yeah. all good. Yeah. Use it as an <laughs> offline game console, and I've never gone online. <laughs> think of it this way. All the parents who bought those for their kids... What? They're going ape shit right now because uh -huh. their personal information, their credit card uh, information is more than likely what was input their in the PlayStation Network. So no parent in their right mind will ever buy that console. I was underage at the time. My parents bought my PlayStation 3. Purchasers. They didn't um, even give a shit. I'm sorry. They didn't know what was going <laughs> on. Their information's <laughs> out. Be careful. Tony, you're done. You are officially done. You're done, you're Sony. I'll let them know. I'll give them a ring. <laughs> Wrap it up, years. Sony. You're done. Then you finally did. Over the past couple of years, in sales-wise, you did catch up with the Xbox 360 hardware-wise. You never caught up software-wise, but you did ah, catch up hardware-wise. And it was coming to the point where if you were to try to have these fanboy console wars, that really neither side could win because each console had its pros and cons. But this con is the <laughs> biggest possible fucking con you could ever have for your console. Sony's oh. done. <laughs> Stick a fork in them. PlayStation 3's toast. I'm sorry. You Not say only it, is the PlayStation my... 3 done, but Sony yeah. as a whole is done. Yeah, when did bankrupt. Sony, yeah, when did Sony go bankrupt? I must have missed the news on Sony's bankruptcy. I'm sure it happened pretty quick after this, though. Definitely, right? Probably, uh, <laughs> what, 2021 the bankruptcy yeah, happened? Uh -huh. I mean, uh, yeah, the yeah. Sony one. Yeah. Yep, yep. My honest opinion, I will continue to buy PlayStation 3 games, PlayStation 3 exclusive games. And the, I already had my personal information on there, and it was compromised. I mean, people already know where, you know, my name. You could find my address. All that stuff is public, you know. I've never really made it private. Oh. So that, to me, wasn't a big deal. So don't worry, boys. He can't be doxxed. He's in doxable. All the information's already out there. This is even before he passed out his business cards. He would do that later, but <laughs> nice. This is a common oh. strategy for him, because he can't be canceled, because he made his own re best racist comp. So oh. it's... Yep. He's... I Just a this. strategy he's been been known to <laughs> do. Okay. Dox yourself, call yourself a racist, and then move on. Nobody yeah. else can. And then you make another YouTube channel where you can react to that shitty old stuff you did and that's just i mean come on sony didn't do that so that's why they went bankrupt clearly big ups to kid flim in the house this planet world <laughs> spin absolutely the world keeps spinning every saturday the world's spinning and we watch shit from i don't know 13 years oh, my ago. credit card information luckily wasn't valid it's quick man so you'll tell like that put my credit card I'm information it. into Hold playstation network again i don't know i'm very oh. got the glance i've seen it stein demon is in full effect right here <laughs> i'm very skeptical now uh, uh, very skeptical now because i can tell you this once one uh, hacker gets had to in, check it afterwards too that just opens the floodgates for everyone else they say well if he could do it i could do it so now playstation network regardless if they're rebuilding it from the ground up will be <laughs> always be under constant attack from hackers and i don't know if <laughs> yeah that was weird steve of the dead i i saw that too and i'm gonna tell you what that is that's telling people like, oh shit, I said my information was leaked, so I'm going to make it sound like it doesn't matter if you find it, I think. Well, let me hear that again. Mm. Games, PlayStation 3, I mean, people already know where, you know, my name, you can find my address, all that stuff is public, you know, I've never really made it private, so that to me wasn't a big deal. Uh, my credit card information luckily wasn't valid. Will I yeah, yeah, see, that's t how is your credit card information not valid? What? What does that even mean? Oh, I had to buy a game. I put in my credit card information. They gave me the game. But my credit card information wasn't valid. What? <laughs> yeah, that doesn't add up. <laughs> no. Who's got bad cards on there? I mean, like, you can not have a bad card on your account, I, but not likely. No, it's not going to stay there when that's the one you, yeah, one of the 14, by the way. Yeah, it could have been maxed out. That's true. He wasn't worried oh, about yeah, it. Oh, yeah, yeah. I already maxed that shit out. <laughs> they can't do anything. Can't go. Do it. So now PlayStation steal my Network. money if I've got none, dumbass. Well, the new Hulk, the female Hulk <laughs> statue is coming out next week. I got to save up for that. <laughs> the big busty one. Regardless if they're rebuilding it from the ground up, will be always be under constant attack from hackers. Oh, yes. And I don't know if even I could trust them with my my credit card or anything Spoilers like that. Spoilers, you so, would. Sorry, Sony, you fucked up. It's over. <laughs> Throw in the towel. Accept defeat. You're gonna have to make a new console. <laughs> That's really what I think. You're gonna have to make a new console now. And, uh, I mean, they would do that. They took his <laughs> advice, I guess. 
They, they, you know what? I think it was the CEO of, of Sony that asked this question, actually. And maybe that's why they made the PlayStation 4. <laughs> All right, boys. DSP just said it. We have to make PlayStation 4. All right. I mean, we weren't going to do this otherwise, but let's make it. All right. I want to put the green light it. Green light it right now. <laughs> Somehow prove themselves to everyone that they're more secure. Okay. I don't know what All else right. to say. I, I feel bad, but they fucked up. Oh, they fucked up. <laughs> All right, dear DSP, recently I've been thinking about what, uh, how you said that you went to college for finance. Uh oh. All the other popular YouTubers are sucking money from YouTube just because they have enough viewer base. The one thing they don't have. Sucking money from YouTube because they have enough viewer base. Okay, just want to stay on on top of this question here. As a magazine. Yep. This is a very dented question coming at us. I think. Money from YouTube just because uh -huh. they have enough viewer base. Yeah. The one thing they don't have is a magazine. I was simply wondering if in the future, if you decided to do something new and you had enough money, would you ever think about starting your own print magazine? Please do it. Please. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Please do no, this. this. This needs to happen modern day. <laughs> yeah, please. <laughs> to all gamers on all gaming consoles, giving your honest opinions and hopes for the future of gaming and current games being developed. Holy in shit, regards, man. uh Rikamaru. Um, Rikamaru, shout out to It's an Great interesting idea. concept. Unfortunately, the bottom line is this. Get on Great magazine is covers. Really I need them dead. in my yeah, inbox no immediately. <laughs> these companies that are still making these magazines all are sorts of magazine like, parodies. <laughs> I need them. <laughs> in crayon. Free crayon. Then you can eat it. <laughs> That's like a snack. <laughs> they give you two free crayons <laughs> for the addition. You can eat them while you read. <laughs> yeah. That's the snack. That's the great snack, dude. <laughs> oh, yeah, look at it. Now he's counting the money from the magazine on this screenshot. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> the gout informer. I like that. Snort month. Okay, I'll do that at the question. Here we go. Here we go. The Q&A is names for DSP's magazine. So go to the Q&A tab and you can see that. Please, uh, Atlas, it's now your job to remind me to check that at the end because I will, I will definitely oh, forget Oh, okay. It. That's your job. I, okay. All right, so right. put your answers. I hope my brain rot magazine. doesn't kick in. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. <laughs> Dentronic Inquirer. <laughs> plague out. I like plague out. <laughs> the, the daily snort. All right, let's go. All right, question tab. Any future answers? Go ahead. He's struggling to stay afloat. Um, if you take a look at most magazines now, even gaming magazines, half I thought he was still talking about ads, Sony for a second. I was like, yeah, they're struggling. Annoying. Yeah. And uh, they're all very short magazines. What? Okay. I would never consider doing a print format magazine. That doesn't mean that I wouldn't consider doing a gaming website or a gaming style news website. That gaming might be style something news interesting website. to think about in the future. Yeah, because you're beating to it. I was going to do it. So when I'm going to give you news and when I'm going to give you updates, it's going to be honest opinions and things like Look that. Up, Kevin. The problem is... Yeah, back in those days, all things seemed possible for Philly. Yep, he's riding the... The wave is not even at its crest yet. He's uh, riding the wave right now and everything's possible. Oh, we can make magazines, dude. Awesome. All the stuff we could do. <laughs> I probably well, have he's willing to make magazines and websites, but he won't change his content format yeah. at all. Not willing to do anything over there. What is this move? What are we doing here? I mean, this finger has been through Guys, the fucking mill. my sister's mill. not being abused. What's this move here? He's like... Is he playing a game with himself? Like, look at his finger. Why does he have <laughs> He's got the lock? index wrapped around the yeah. pinky. <laughs> what are we doing? <laughs> Kid Flip in the house says, Don't cry for me, Argentina. The truth is, spam in chat was never allowed. <laughs> nice. I probably I tried have to a very hard time getting advanced copies of games to try out, demos, stuff like that. So uh -huh. my stuff would literally be like, all right, the game's out now. I'm playing. He just I'm demos and stuff like that. We didn't get a we didn't get a second one. Advanced copies and give you advanced reviews. So, what are you gonna do? Another good idea. Oh. I'll keep it on the back burner. I'll keep it in the back of my head. Something interesting. Back burner about. and back of the head. Uh, Double dear trouble. Side, Phil. I'm a long time fan. I absolutely love your gaming videos as, uh, as well as all your other. And since heavy rain, yeah, my we get it. Today is when you finish what college and started a job. You wanted to get an apartment, right? I love the apartment magazine. A good apartment. Plus, how'd you get enough money to furnish it with lots of cool things like a PlayStation 3, Xbox 360, Wii? This is a dude. Like, I want. I worry about these people. These people is a young, impressionable young person asking DSP for advice on life. Like, what the fuck, man? This dude is clearly. I mean, I worry what they're doing in their life right now. Enough money, right? 
right? He uh, said today yeah. during his cancellation of the doc that people view him as a role model. Yes. And it, it's these it's these style individuals. Oh, That's God, the people, man. They have no help. They have no hope, man. No hope. <laughs> money to get a good apartment. Yeah. Plus, how'd you get enough money to furnish it with lots of cool things? Like a PlayStation 3, Xbox 360, yeah, Wii, other guess. things like appliances, furnishings, and then just goes on to list a bunch of games. yeah, furnished with a PS3. <laughs> That's very important, dude. <laughs> Yeah, you know, you could get something called a job. You know, that's kind of how people get stuff. But let's hear what Phil's going to say about this. These things that were needed. And that is from... Uh, Please tell I, me. This person actually knew that I was going to say their name wrong. So I apologize in advance. I guess Sinisa... Sinisa? Uh, yeah, Sinisa Nikolic or Nikolic. I'm not sure. I apologize. I know I said that Sinisa wrong. Sinisa um, Nikolic. When I did get my apartment... Uh, first of all, I actually, at the job I had at that time, I had a big boost in pay from the previous job, so I kind of had a lot oh. of money on my hands, but my advice to you if you're... Wait, wait hold on, hold on. Let me get a timeline here. What did he say there? Uh, first of all, I yeah. actually, at the job I had at that time, I had a big boost in pay from the previous job, so I kind of had a lot of money on my hands. Ah, got it. Okay, I got it, I got it. So, uh, he was working at Best Buy, got fired from that for the things, and then he was looking for a job, remember? He got the Sikorsky job, and that is where he got the big bump in pay from Daddy. Daddy's nepotism got him the jump in pay, and that's why he could uh, furnish this nice new apartment he got to be closer to the Sikorsky job. So there we go. So he did get a big bump in pay. Sikorsky pays way more than Best Buy did, apparently. Nice. But my advice to you, if you're looking for an apartment and you really don't have a lot of money, roommates, roommates, roommates. My apartment was not my own. It was a three-bedroom apartment. And I had two roommates who were actually for, uh, co-workers at my job. And, uh... Oh! Pick and harvest. What do we get? Gotta, yeah, I gotta get the look. Let me see what we got. Oh, this looks pretty good. I'll put this... I'll get that for later. Where are we going here? Oh! the We got the twirl, the rubber. You see? Twirl, twirl, twirl. That thumb's doing the work. And then on to the PJ pants. Yeah! Uh, yeah. Hell yeah! Grammys <laughs> are crusted. Uh, and, and Hell yeah. And actually came pre-furnished, which oh, was awesome. God! That we just do the other side. This is so aggressive. <laughs> <laughs> Give it the stare down. <laughs> He's got surprise at his harvest. Then we get that twirl. This is going where? The oh, flick this, away. This might be flick or chair. I think it might not be savable. The other one was savable. That those goes on the pants. But when they're not really edible, they might go to the pants or the flick. That was definitely off pants though. Chair, yeah. The chair is a scary one. Those aren't edible. The edible ones, he puts those on the PJ pants. The previous people who had lived there uh, had actually By the way, we now have over kept the furnishings <laughs> there for us. So we basically just moved in and the furnishings Shout were out there. the furnishings. The so it all worked out. Oh, PS3, um, PS4. So yeah, yeah, yeah Xbox roommates. Movie. That's my, my, my advice roommates. to everyone. Find roommates. It makes yep. things a lot cheaper. And you can get a PS3. <laughs> what else? Yeah. Um, really quick. A lot of people ask me about what are my feelings about Osama bin Laden. Got a lot of people. Captured and what? Killed. Oh, okay. Okay, that's a good prediction. Atlas, what's your prediction? Oh, is that, that's a great... Okay, all right. Because <laughs> that's, that's, that's like a great impossible, prediction. That's like a po impossible to guess. Like, he might say, like... He might... He, is, okay, how about this? I'll do it this way. Is he going to give a yeah, short okay. answer? Is it going to be longer than 30-second answer? Is he going to give details? Or are you going to be like, uh, that's fine, I guess. Or is he going to say way more? That's what I want to know. That's, that's the question. Um... I think it's going to be longer than 30 seconds. Okay, here we go, here we go. Killed by SEAL Team 6 uh, this past week. You know, it, I don't... Do I condone the killing you of win. anyone? Set the you, win. Down. <laughs> you win. <laughs> you win. He set that paper down. Now we're in trouble. I don't... We're in for the long haul. God damn it. The killing of anyone. No, absolutely not. <laughs> however... <laughs> I don't condone the killing of people, however. There are some circumstances, obviously, Where that need to be taken into account. You do condone it. Fact, okay, got it. a terror organization that got basically it. killed thousands upon thousands of people, ruined the lives of not only people who he terrorized, but the yeah, people who he brainwashed. Thoughts. Because the bottom line is it was brainwashing. And, bottom line. Uh, hey, one thing that I do tonight. want to clarify before I really give my opinion here is that... On fire. It's not... Um, <laughs> it's not the Hello? Muslim religion. It is not... <laughs> Uh, anything to do with something like that. And by the way, not everyone is innocent here. I would like to say, think back to the Crusades Holy when shit. the same fucking oh, thing okay. happened. Yeah, we're that's right. The Crusades. I love all these people who are Christians. <laughs> what the fuck? I don't think we're going this far. 
God, we got crusades hey, wait, wait, coming the out. The long haul. We're getting the whole, the whole history. Shit. Crusades? What happened? Yeah, that's right. Back in the crusades. Yeah, what happened? I love all these people who are Christians. Well, you should who know. Love to act high and mighty like they're <laughs> yeah. innocent. And they're... That's my first job, actually. <laughs> that's how I furnished myself with my uh, Mancala set. I love all these people who are Christians who love to <laughs> My first concert was a Mancala. <laughs> dual, st dual shock. Dual stone. Innocent here. I would like right, to say, think back to the Crusades. Uh -huh, Crusades, when the same I hear fucking this. thing happened. Yeah, that's right. Back in the Crusades, uh -oh. I love all these people who are Christians. Yeah, who love face. to act high and mighty <laughs> like they're innocent face. and they're the good guys. Remember the Crusades when no. basically Europe went into the <laughs> Arab countries I remember them and well. killed all the Muslims, and the, the reason <laughs> that they said that they were doing it was we want to convert them to Christianity. Dude, 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 dude. Why do we look? This wasn't even a number two, but he has to look at his hand. Look. <laughs> you cannot be serious why does he there's he's not even counting he, he had to, to make, make sure he wasn't holding up yeah. a three while he did it he's... Wait, let me make sure i'm doing quotations or is the corner demon waking up i don't know oh Leo. i'll do the, i'll make it quick i'll make it quick <laughs> he doesn't demon. like rapid movements like that he's <laughs> Quarter demon told him to wrap it up. <laughs> like, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> Big ups, Kid Flim says. Uh, Kid Flim says, I think Cat got fat on purpose to spite Dave, and the haircut top haircut topped it off. Hey, that's a theory. All theories are welcome here. I never say no to a good theory. <laughs> so that hey, and the cat shield shows up right on time. Foil cat shield hey. for Lem Fandango, the chicken of the ring. Countries and killed all the Muslims, and the the reason that they said that they were doing it was. We want to convert them to Christianity when the real reason behind it was they wanted their land. Uh -huh. Um, yeah, that wasn't too good either. Okay. And I just hate the whole idea of these All holy right. wars and things that are falling. I hate religion. holy wars. That wasn't what religion is. It's not what I it guess that's a double for. you that's take for Dave today, yeah, yeah. big ups. I, holy <laughs> wars are bad. All right, we'll give it a W on that. Big ups, dude. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> Setting nice. the bar really high, obviously. <laughs> the reason, the good intentions behind religion and turning it into something violent. So oh, and by no violent. means do I ever condone violence on behalf of religion. And therefore, I don't, I don't, obviously I don't condone the Crusades, and I did not <laughs> condone anything that Osama bin Laden doesn't oh. condone the Crusades. They I didn't think, need yeah. your... your just, oh, anyway, anyway. We got a better take here, though. He doesn't condone what Osama bin Laden did. So that's another W take. Oh, that's, that oh one, yeah, how brave. W. How brave. That's really... You know, some people don't have the bravery to make statements like that. Atlas, maybe maybe you do, but it's tough sometimes to share the hot takes like that. Like, Os <laughs> I don't condone what Osama bin Laden did. <laughs> yeah, real. It's a what real a hero. One, Dave. <laughs> what a hero, man. Taking this bullet for the team. I like it. <laughs> Big up, Jay Jumping Russo on says, that grenade. <laughs> <laughs> don't uh, hijack planes. I mean, he, he. That's a tough one to say too. Let's see if he goes that far. I mean, that might be a step too far. You know, I mean, he's gone. He's on a real roll here. Uh, Jay Wusso in the house says, "Shout out to Atlas, my public, my fellow public works brethren." Oh, little lore drop for Atlas here. Public works brethren. Cool. Can you confirm? I do be I do be work in public. Uh... <laughs> Big ups. And I don't, obviously I don't condone the Crusades, and I did not condone anything that Osama yes. bin Laden did. Um, Okay. It's People about were worried time he, he did, obviously. Ten fucking years. I think it should have been done a lot quicker than it was done. But the bottom line is, it should have done. <laughs> it, sh it should have been done quicker. Okay. Wow. Get out there, then, <laughs> Seal Team Dave. Go on. Yeah. Get him. <laughs> Sell Seal. Yeah. Send your your strongest weapon, DSP, out there. Don't anything that Osama bin Laden did. Um, okay. Sorry. I want to hear that again. It's about time we got him. It's been ten fucking years. I think it should have been done a lot quicker than it was done. <laughs> But the bottom line is, it was kind of found out that oh, yeah. some people were like touting and saying, ha, oh, you can never catch him, and he's living the high life and all that. When it Who comes to find that? out, he wasn't. He was living in caves the whole time. Oh, he was yeah. cowering behind his wife, using her as a hostage. He was a coward. And um, that's the kind of person, I guess, that would do the kind of things that, that he did. He's starting, and, out, uh, starting to get it? He's kind of a uh, douchebag, am I, actually? Am I happy that someone died? No. Am I happy that he's gone <laughs> and that there's a major threat gone? Yes. Um, so, he, I mean, this is peak DSP answer here. This is a classic DSP answer. Just missing the point and just 
like he's saying stuff that's not that insane but holy shit man it's like what oh are yeah he took the about? question and <laughs> ran away with it and yeah. I, at this point i don't even remember what the original question was yeah i i think it, what were you happy that osama bin Laden was killed but we can't even say that we gotta tell you about crusades first like what <laughs> Holy shit. All I know is it's definitely longer than 30 seconds oh, on this yeah, one. Oh, yeah, you won there. <laughs> Holy shit. And, yeah, good point. Whoever pointed that out. I see a few people now. Uh, Phil would definitely know about cowering behind his wife, wouldn't he? And keeping Oof. her as a hostage. <laughs> Kid Flim says, it time, violence. <laughs> well, I don't hey. condone that, you know. You ever, I don't hey, condone right, that around yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm kind of, I do have mixed I don't feelings. condone anything I, Kid Flim does. Uh... <laughs> This dude has mixed feelings that Osama bin Laden was killed. That's where we're going right now. Let, let's hear this. He's um, fence sitting. Uh, he's fence sitting. Osama bin Laden getting killed. So I'm kind of. I do have mixed feelings. I I, I don't like how oh. they're kind of touting it on TV. He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. Yeah, I should not be great. Blah blah blah. That's kind of fucked up. But at the same. Oh my god. I mean, that's I don't think take. anybody said it like that. <laughs> um. Wow. Time. Good riddance to bad rubbish. Let's put it that way. Okay? Um, and again, so... any time you turn religion into something crazy that it's not meant to be and it leads to violence, that's wrong. And that's what Osama did. That's what thousands of people have done throughout since the beginning of time. And mm -hmm. it needs to stop. The end of... It, I, I'm glad it's like closing the door on a bad decade, a decade of fear. I think the decade of fear is finally over. <laughs> is that a decade of failure? <laughs> yeah. We finally move on with our lives and... I'm just, I'm happy at least yep. for that much. Terrorism is dead, dude. Never coming back. Terrorism is gone. Big ups, dude. Why did they take, why did they take so long? Fucking seal team. Yeah, the solution was so easy. Come on. Get, why'd you take 10 years, dude? Yeah, racism's dead, too. Thank God, yeah. Okay, that was it's just question, in the cave. He couldn't have found it faster? Come yeah. on. <laughs> Let's move on. Uh, hey, DSP. Please. Uh, you're always complaining about how bad the customer service is on YouTube. Well, have you ever considered applying <laughs> about every business on earth? Yes. For a job as a customer <laughs> service advisor from them. That's from Mr. Anderson. Um, oh, God. You know, it's kind of hard to apply for a job that doesn't exist. This is what I've been saying. YouTube has no customer support. They have a forum where you post and rarely someone will respond. Uh, so it almost sounds like they have a customer service forum. Okay. Got it. Got it. Mm. Um... There is no job to apply for for that, and therefore, uh, it is kind of a silly The store question. doesn't um, have customer service. They just have a okay. number you this can next call. This question is heavy, too. It's <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He said that before, too. Yeah, yeah. It's regarding fighting games, so I warn you. I'm okay. going to try to do Fighting games? Why are you going to warn us? Are you that scared of them now? Heavy. It's kind of a silly question. Um, okay. This next question is heavy, too. It's, it's, it's a heavy. long one. It's regarding fighting games, so I warn you. Oh, shit. We got a heavy question. All right. I'm going to try to do it quickly, and then I got a couple Twitter questions to answer, and then we'll be all done. Oh, God. Sorry about that. Nice snore into the drink. Got to wash double, it down. Double barrel. I'm going to summarize the question, because okay. it was actually asked by Divine Elements and also by Phantom Ryu. It's a two-parter. Here's what's go what had recently happened. This past weekend, there was a tournament in Ohio. It was called Power Up. It was a qualifying tournament for EVO World Finals, which is the nationals of fighting games in, in America. Yes. Fourth place doesn't get anything. So if you place this tournament, you got points. <laughs> points. That was perfect timing. Golden era hip hop. <laughs> that was beautiful. Of fighting games in, in America. So if you placed at this tournament, you got points, and the points would help you uh, with your seating in the brackets at EVO World. Oh, my club. Current friend, future enemy, Mike Klum. Do I need to remove the... Well, he's got to stay as a card, but uh, I guess that card means a little less now, doesn't it? That the doc is canceled. Mm -hmm. And um, a couple controversial things happened. First of all, uh -oh. Justin Wong, uh -oh. Oh, oh. In, in the Super Street Fighter Four tournament, Name asked drop. the tournament Amazing. organizer to actually, near the end of the tournament, we're not talking early on the first two rounds, he asked the tournament organizer near the end of the tournament to play one person over another. He was supposed to play Wolf Crone, who's probably, oh, hands down, the best Super Street Fighter 4 player in the country, he has to play Inthul, who's not as good. And the tournament organizer said, sure, and he floated Justin from one side of the bracket to the other and let him play the easier player. All right, so <clears throat> if anyone has information on this, I would love to hear it, but this sounds very bad. I, it sounds so bad that I'm sure DSP is probably missing some information from it, actually. 
Uh, but I'll keep as we keep listening. I'll search as much as I can. Sure, and he floated Justin from Thank one you, side of the ground to the other. A little yes. bit easier player. That does sound bad. That's but... extremely. But yeah, but DSP is okay. the one that's, that's telling the story, uh, so I, I'm not buying it. Part uh, two, in the Marvel vs. Capcom three losers finals, it was Justin Wong against his Noel. Now, if you don't know Noel Brown, he's a player from New York. He was formerly Justin Wong's roommate, so they're really good friends. They know each other for a while. And uh, what ended up happening was, during this, this, this match, Justin picked a team that he never picks. He picked characters that he's never picked before in a tournament. He's not familiar with them. Ended up throwing the match. He actually started the match with Phoenix, who's one, a character who no one ever starts with, because that's not how she's meant to be played. She's uh -huh. meant to be played, placed third, so that at the end of the match, when you have five levels, she turns into Dark Phoenix and becomes a really strong force. So... Justin starts with Phoenix. He's picking Super Scroll, who he never picks in tournament. And then he loses Man, a couple matches. Sucks. He goes to yeah. his main team, but then ends up losing the match <laughs> overall. Well, there was all this controversy because people are saying... Yeah, Phil's just telling the story now. This is the this is the preempt you for the question, guys. So, yeah, just... Uh, uh, yeah, there, I've, I'm fine. I actually found the match. Um Let's let's hear let's hear the full question. We might have multiple minutes left. Let's just hear the question first, and then I'll try to recap what I have found. Since he keeps asking these fucking questions, he keeps sharing this whole story. <laughs> Basically, Justin Wong threw the match so that Noel could win, could win and get more ranking points and do better at Eva. And it's all kind of controversy here, saying. How could you allow a major player to throw a match like that? That's not fair that you're basically handing qualifier points to Noel, who really didn't earn them fairly. And what's going on here? Um, I'm going to make this short and sweet because I've been in the tournament scene for quite a long time. Uh, oh, I'm going to make this short and sweet because I'm kind of a veteran around here. You know what I'm saying, guys? So I'll make this short and sweet. Let's see if he... Short and sweet. <laughs> Set down the paper, though, I noticed. Um... Oh, we're in trouble. Big ups, Kid Flip again. says, <laughs> ALT, my nan says... My nan says she she remembers you from school. Oh, okay. Yeah. We might have some fun. <laughs> ALT, fun you got together. something, to, uh -huh. something to share? British style, I'm assuming. <laughs> it's been happening since day one. Since the first tournament I ever fucking went to, shit gets rigged. It's that simple. The top players find a way to rig stuff so that they keep winning. I've seen it since day one. Whether it's West Coast tournaments where the brackets are rigged and all of a sudden all the East Coast people are playing each other and eliminating each other out of the event. Hmm, that's kind of fishy, don't you think? The guy who I play, who lives a mile away from me, wait, I have to play wait, him. Wait, wait, wait. <clears throat> Go ahead. The East Coast players are playing each other on the bracket. Wouldn't that mean that the West Coast players are playing each other on the bracket? Or So basically, okay, so here, I did find, okay, so I have found some news here. Um, what Phil is saying about, not the first part of the story, the sharing the fucking ass to play someone else, I haven't found anything on that. But this match is true. Uh, power up, Noel versus Justin Wong. Apparently, Justin Wong, this is the loser's bracket, and it's for who gets to make Evo. You know what I'm saying? So, like, mm -hmm. if you went, went high enough, you're in Evo. Now, Justin Wong himself was already qualified for Evo, and he's playing his roommate in the loser's finals bracket. If his roommate, Noel, uh, wins, he gets an Evo as well. If Justin Wong beats him, remember, Justin Wong is already qualified, Justin earns qualification that he already has. Okay? So... Justin Wong did throw the match, uh, and this he was actually given a yellow card uh, for this as part of the Evolution 2011 season, which means if he was thought to do that again, uh, then he would be out. But yeah, so and Jaha says correctly, uh, the canon said none of that anymore. But yeah, so this the second part of the story is true. Uh, that that was part was true. But yeah, basically Justin Wong did something we'd all do. Just in, in various I was ways. just about to say Justin yeah. Wong's a, a, a real real one for that because yeah. if you already qualified, let your boy go. Like yeah. let him place place fourth at Evo if he can. Like Any let him go crazy. Bag would do that. It just it's how hard can you fake trying until you make sure he wins. You know what I'm saying? All right, Lem Lemtech says that's fucked. See, I think if it's a qualifying thing, I totally would do it too. And I would just try to fake it as much as I can. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I wouldn't pick characters I've never picked. That's yeah. kind of I, I I don't know how that was a good idea, but people do that in fucking like Magic and Pokemon tournaments all the time too if you're in you drop the games that you don't know if you'd say you're playing your friend they qualify for day two yeah you'd fucking drop the game because you don't need it anymore i mean that's a it, it's a conversation for a different day but anyways you've all it's been done a lot and it continues to be done all the time whenever it can be done because again the other person winning doesn't help them and 
you know. But anyway, let's see your Phil's Till's take on this. In this tournament that I flew to California, the East Coast people are playing each other and eliminating each other out of the Oh, yeah, East Coast, West Coast mm, players. That's kind gotcha. of fishy, don't you think? The guy who I play, who lives a mile away from me, I have to play him in this tournament that I flew to California to play in. Hmm, that's kind of fishy. Uh, I've seen illegal floating hundreds of times in tournaments. People, oh, yeah, well, if you don't want to play him, don't worry about it, dude. You're a top player, and uh, I'm just a tournament organizer, and I'm going to do whatever I can to make sure that you say that my tournament was great, so I'm going to float you wherever you want. I've seen that before. Um, and, yeah, I've seen people throw matches repeatedly. I've seen in tournaments, and this used to happen before Street Fighter Four came out and really Street Fighter became as big as it is right now, it, people used to just not even play the finals. They used to say, let's just split. And this happened with Justin, this happened with Ricky Ortiz, this happened with multiple people. They would say, oh, we don't feel like playing the finals, we'll just split the pot, and it'll be a tie. And uh, tournament I... organizers would allow it. They're out of their <laughs> minds, but they would allow it, and that's bullshit. <laughs> yeah, thank you, bro, side Phil, for saying what needs to be said. If Phil got any of this treatment or was ever in these situations, <laughs> it should not be a problem. But because Phil was never, ever treated with an ounce of like, oh, he's a top player, it's a big problem, you know? A hundred percent. Yeah, he's he's the main character, and he wasn't being benefited. So I wasn't treated like Justin Wong. What the fuck? And at any tournament that I ever ran, it's like Justin Wong was that. good never... and uh, likable person, yeah. and yeah. you were neither After of those things. The first couple of rounds, unless there was really a strong reason for it, and uh, okay, yeah, it's just not fair. It's preferential treatment. It's okay. unfair. It shouldn't happen. Now, the reason that there's so much controversy here is because Evo, in particular, I believe it was uh -oh. Tony Cannon. Uh oh, uh, Tony Cannon in charge of Evo. Uh, basically, Do we get Tony Cannon slander in 2011? Let's see. He yes. still he still yeah. gets he still gets shit on 2024. I'll tell you that. Let's see if what happens in 2011. He penalized Justin Wong after he heard that this had happened. He watched the footage. He deemed that. It was oh, by the way, thank you, Doomer Ziggy, for pointing that out. We we shared that on the, on the Density Scrolls as well. Uh, Phil admitted to giving special treatment to Rambo in, at his own tournament. So thanks so for that, Doomer Ziggy. You're a legend. Uh, Phil admitted to giving Rambo preferential treatment, so let's not pretend you don't do it either. DSP. Moved by Justin Wong, and he really did throw the losers' finals against Noel Brown. He issued a yellow card to Justin, which oh, means that I told you. if Justin pulls this again before Evo, he's banned from Evo. And he also docked Justin all of his qualifier points for that event, so basically Justin gets no points. Now, it doesn't really affect anything because Justin has a shit ton of points from other tournaments he's attended anyway. Plus, Noel was allowed to keep his points, which is kind of ridiculous, but I don't agree with that, but whatever. Um, I mean, it wasn't up to Noel whether or not Justin yeah. threw the match. Yeah. Like, he doesn't really get a say. Yeah, that's so, a great point. I don't know how you would take his points away. <laughs> yeah, well, how, in what world could you take those points away? And Evo right. made that ruling, um, because it looks like they are trying to take themselves pretty seriously. Uh -oh. However, uh -oh. I have to say, at this point, I kind of have to call foul, because I've seen preferential treatment and stuff happened at evo itself uh -oh. not particularly in the past five years dude i hope we finish with him saying evo is gonna fail because that would be the perfect oh my ending. god the <laughs> alice of takes yeah please <laughs> please say evo is gonna fail please phil but when it first started and it was more of a grassroots movement i saw a lot of preferential stuff go down please. so i kind of have to call you know hypocrite there but at oh, least I maybe call Evo is moving towards a more legitimate yep. format. Hey, sometimes you've got to call hypocrite. Really uh -huh. Look legitimate if they allow people to pull that kind of stuff in their own qualifier series. Please. On the flip side of all this, it's uh. just a fucking game, and it's hilarious that people are taking this so seriously. Again, you know, I play games, I'm having fun, and I found a way to make money off of and, and support myself off of just having fun. These guys take this shit so seriously that they have to ask for illegal floats. They have to rig finals. I mean, give me a... <laughs> <laughs> I'm better than them because I have I just have to play games and have fun. Yeah, fuck Justin, dude. He's an asshole. I'm having fun over here, man. That's what he's saying. <laughs> I like I like that he's oh they take games so seriously. Like this is the dude that was taking out credit cards to go to tournaments, but uh, they're taking it seriously. You're in massive debt took because ma you were taking yeah. it too seriously. But see, this is what he fails. I broke away from that, so now. Oh, I'm the king. I I will fuck that. I'm just having fun. Those dudes are fucking assholes. They get take it all seriously. Look at me. I'm just having fun. Uh huh. Just having fun. Make money off of and, and support myself off of just having. How's Justin Wong doing? Uh, in terms of everything, <laughs> I was gonna like try to give specific examples about how far Justin's ahead of him, but like, it, it, there's no aspect where he's not. <laughs> you know, it doesn't matter. Yeah, it's Different just humans. every facet. Different species. <laughs>
and fun. These guys take the shit so seriously that they have to ask for illegal floats. They have to rig finals. I mean, give me a fucking break. Uh -huh. This is why I think this competitive gaming at this point is kind of getting ridiculous. Uh -huh. It's but dead, dude. I digress. Please. I think oh. it's a sad situation that Justin's pulling this kind Remember of shit. Remember when this was going to be a short to. answer? He knows oh, it's yeah. Well, yeah. You're right. I think we got to get to put the paper down and count. start the counter because those are fucking long, dude. He's still asking for preference. Yeah, it's a real indicator. <laughs> He should win off of the skill of his own merits. So whatever. I don't know. I kind of. I'm, I'm really disappointed in him. But it is what oh, it is. Yeah. When he's living off of this, he, I guess he has to kind of pull this kind of stuff. Um, what stuff? Okay, whatever. So yeah, uh, it's whatever. fucked up uh -huh. that it happened, and it shouldn't happen in the that future. Fucked up. I am glad that Tony kind of stepped up and and did that. Wow. All right, now a couple of Twitter questions. Tony to praised. Uh, yeah, first... Tony praised. Now that's a rare find. Shout out happy that Tony stepped up for this one. Question Thanks, Tony. From Comcast. Oh, Comcast. It's spelled not Comcast like the cable, but it's C A M C A S T E. And he says, What's your opinion on Mass Effect 3 being. <laughs> it's not, <laughs> hey, just in case you know, it's not spelled like the cable. It's different. Delayed until 2012. If you haven't heard, the news came out this week that the game will be delayed until the okay. first quarter of 2012. I don't care, but what is it? I'm happy. Yeah, I know you're probably surprised to hear me say that, but I am happy so about this because it means that they're taking their time to make a quality product and they're not trying to rush it. Basically, this will now push it into the first quarter. It will be two full years since Mass Effect 2 came out, oh, and Mass hopefully Effect the 3. game will be all okay. the more better yeah, yeah. for it. I thought he said Mass Effect, but I didn't want to misspeak. For a fourth quarter release, I'm happy about this announcement. And I'm really they're taking their time. Game. People are going to love Plus, Mass Effect 3. So that that thing's going to be sick. Blockbuster sequels coming out in the fourth quarter this year. Better to give it its own slot in the first quarter of 2012 rather than to get overshadowed by something else. Oh, you Next have to answer this, Atlas. We got some a question in chat for you. I heard Atlas oh. is the reason the documentary has been canceled. Can you confirm? I just with spotted the that myself. Uh, uh, no, uh, it's not me. Did uh, you, I didn't do it. Did you run any clumferance? Uh <laughs> No, well, I no, <laughs> okay. but kind of. Okay. I I will admit, I I talked to Mike Klum. Okay, it was okay. He's a nice guy. Yeah. Didn't really talk about much. He just uh, asked me what my whole thought was, and I was like, "Well, DSP sucks." And he goes, "Yeah, it's kind of what I've gathered." I went, "All right, bye." Is it? Put so... any credence, <laughs> do you put any credence in the idea that Mike was either sold it as or was going to make it into a? Let's show how fucked up the detractors are. Documentary. Because a, a part of me has that thought. Someone said that on Twitter or something. And I was thinking about it. And I kind of, wow, maybe that's why he wanted to talk to so many people. To see if there are any stories about how crazy we were could be told. You know what I mean? I mean, it might, it's a Theo theory for sure. but uh, When I talked to him, it was, uh, I, I don't, I, I don't want to spill a whole bunch of beans or nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But Jared's when I when I talked to him, he was uh, sharing. He was telling me a couple of ideas that he had, and uh, he was asking me what I'd like to see in the documentary. And I told him I watched the Boogie Doc, and I, I liked the bits where he had people like analyze Boogie's channel and mm -hmm. see how they could save it. And I would like to see segments like that for DSP, his channel, and like uh, some sort of um, business savvy individuals analyze his uh, channel as a business. And oh, he was, okay. he really liked that idea. Okay. And then there was some, uh, some general, like, well, if you had some questions, what would you ask? And that's really all we talked about. I didn't see anything in the conversation when I talked to him that was like trying to paint me as anything other than just, you know, I didn't see anything nefarious in it, but maybe he was, I, I don't doubt it. Yeah, to it's some extent idea, when but... he, yeah, when you share both sides, like there's definitely going to be some, oh, these are the, you know, the, the seedier detractors for sure. Yeah. Um, and I, and I think that's why cat got brought out so that he could, uh, negative comment farm for bullying cat. <laughs> like, I, I, that's a hundred percent my idea. Okay. Totally original. Didn't see that online anywhere. I promise. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, that's fine. I mean, someone said. He, I mean, is he going to continue it? I hope he does. But who knows now? I mean, uh, probably he has so many other people to go to. I guess how much? I don't know. How much has he found yet, Mike Klum, that he can say? Well, there's still enough here. I don't give a shit. I'm just going to do it. Because uh, I know I mean, a big part of the the boogie documentary, obviously, was the whole fucking setting was his house. So that's kind of a big deal, you know, to not. Be yeah, I think anymore. if you. Yeah, if you can't get into the snort for it, if you can't get uh, actual conversations with DSP, the doc's dead. Yeah, we'll see, we'll see. Long way to go. Questions from Triple Maniac 24 
He says, when you were in college, did you ever believe you would become a YouTube sensation? Oh, God. Or, or have as many fans worldwide as you do? Oh, God. Such an annoying fucking question. Oh, I never knew I was going to be this big. I couldn't believe it. Doing what I love. All right, pick a buzzword he's done a say. Atlas, that's your job. Oh, um. <laughs> I'll say doing what I love. That's my. You can pick a phrase, oh, too. You can pick a phrase. It's yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm going to go with, um. Ooh. Damn it. I'm on the spot and the brain <laughs> rot. Uh, doing what I love is so good. Yeah, you, you, can, be, um, you can take mine. That's fine. You can take mine. We're, we're, no, are... <laughs> no, that's cheating. <laughs> okay. <laughs> a lot of chats uh, saying unique, meaningful. People said. Yeah, I was good. Yeah, me I'm meaningful. Theirs. Okay. Yeah, I'll take meaningful. Okay, obviously. Eileen. Sounds okay, good. Well, when I was in college, YouTube didn't exist. Okay. <laughs> it was that long ago. Oh, my but, God. Um, Fell into this. That's a good. Oh, sensual time. Fell into this. Is fell good, into yeah. this. That's beautiful. As many fans as I do, absolutely not. As I've said since day one, this is an amazing thing. I think that I'm the exception to the rule that I've been able to be successful. Oh, exception to the rule would have been good too, to be honest. But I'm enjoying uh -huh. every minute of it, and I'm riding this wave of, of uh, popularity and positivity. And <laughs> I thank everyone who watches my videos and supports me for for everything. It's just great. It's a great feeling, and. Uh, I'm just gonna keep going. Ah, we, all right. we all lost. We all lost. Everybody <laughs> lost here. Way yeah. to go. Next question. Everybody is from sucks. Cold Sned. <laughs> oh, Cold Sned. Okay. <laughs> he says, "What are your thoughts on the music game genre? Uh, its effect on gaming and its current fall from grace?" Yeah. What do you think? Very good question. If you haven't heard, Guitar Hero has been canceled. Uh -oh. It is completely kaput. Harmonix was sold off, and uh, the music game industry right now. Which just a couple of years ago was booming and gigantic. One of the most profitable things ever in the gaming industry is dead and buried. My opinion on it, it's because these game makers were overzealous. They got greedy. They got so fucking greedy. The first Guitar Hero was a smash hit. They were zealous. Think Crusades. Okay. Yeah. Expected to be. And at that point, they said, "That's it. Here comes the money train." Every year we're going to release new peripherals, new, uh, a new music game, and then it got to the point where Guitar Hero was releasing multiple games a year. By the way, he had all he had a full set of Guitar Hero with no friends. He had a full set. He brought that shit to a tournament, a suite he bought, trying to get friends up there. No one came. He had a full set of Guitar Hero shit at his house. And that ever that's from back in his fucking day too. He didn't have anything. He had, like, I got all these, I got two sets of Guitar Hero. Steve, remember we checked that when he made the, the cookout? That was the cookout, too. He said, I got two Ooh, sets of everything. Oh, I remember seeing that. Yeah, I had two yeah. sets of everything. <laughs> like, why do you have two sets of everything with no friends? <laughs> <laughs> you That's sad, man. <laughs> you know, releases, like, who wants to buy, you know, Aerosmith, just Aerosmith, or just <laughs> a one particular band? Fuck Aerosmith, hell yeah, fuck them. Fuck you, Steve Tyler. As a retail release. Make those DLCs. Don't make them retail games. and re Yeah, Steve. He had the drum kit. Yeah. <laughs> That's like the advance, you know. I got the full drum kit. I got oh, yeah. When <laughs> someone pulls up the drum kit, I'm like, bro, I don't even want to play anymore. You take this too seriously. I'm out. Like that, and it got to the point where it, it got over, over bloated and people stopped buying it. Because it was <laughs> Similar to me right now. It's over bloated. <laughs> it got over bloated. <laughs> He has a burp while saying bloated. Like that, and it got to the point where it, it, it got over over bloated, <laughs> and people stopped buying it because there was too much. It nice. oversaturated the market because they became so greedy. Uh -huh. If they were smart, what they would have done is said, okay, we're going to feed people just enough so that the demand stays at the level it's at. So once a year, we're going to have a major retail release with new peripherals, okay. guitars, whatever, keyboards, drums. And yeah. then we'll have DLCs over the course of the year that we'll promote. Instead, they went all fucking out. They released way too much stuff, and it just crashed, burned, and failed, and it's done. And that's what happens when you get... I never got to play DJ idea. Hero. That's it's exactly a real shame. They, did. they oversaturated oh, yeah. the market. They ruined the idea, and now they're all fucking fired. <laughs> so, oh, well, that's the way the... They got grows. fired. <laughs> well, I lost my job in right, 2010. <laughs> And the question is, Phil, do you plan to go abroad soon? You have many fans outside the U.S. like in Brazil. All right. Last one, oh, probably uh, right. Is he say yes or no to this? Give give me the just give me the overall feeling. Yes, I have the I want to go abroad or no. 
Yes. All right. That's it. Well, we know. In Europe, and the answer to that is, right now, I'm just trying to branch out to the local scene. So, God for example, it. the Too Many Games gaming convention Sounds that I like go a no. to. I'll wait, though. Sounds weekend, like a no. That's a major way for me to start branching out. And if the interest continues, there is potential that eventually I'll start doing stuff international. But for now, I'd like to branch out to the U.S., maybe start going to, you know... Yeah, that's a maybe. Games, <laughs> yeah, that's a maybe. Uh, some other major gaming events and things like that. Meeting the fans, hanging God, it's out. It's always a fence with fun, this guy. Getting my name out there in the convention scene and then growing from there. So again, thank you everyone. Getting my name out there in the convention scene. Oh yeah, can you believe it? DSP does conventions. They're incredible. He does the same thing in every convention he's ever done. He's only done two, but he did the same thing both times. Let me tell you how awesome I am and how my story is unique. <laughs> That's it. So Ask me how I won the lottery, please. Like, <laughs> what? what is that going to do? And he wasn't even asked back. Both the ones that he went to did not ask him back, you know? And he emailed them, too, saying, do you want me back? Uh, we'll let you know. <laughs> they did. For your questions, if you can make it to too many games this weekend, I hope Spencer will <laughs> By the way, he wouldn't even make it to his first ever convention, as we saw from this Twitter post. <laughs> We will not be able to make our panel at 4 p.m. So good job. And yeah, I, I know I'm pushing. That's a good way to get your name in the co in the convention scene. It's, yeah, just not don't show showing up. up. <laughs> <laughs> good first step. Don't show up. <laughs> it's hard, but I really want a lot of people to come and just enjoy the convention. And I can't think of anything that makes you look you know, worse than again. saying you're going to be somewhere and not be in there. <laughs> get my name out there, the convention scene. <laughs> Someone who doesn't <laughs> show up. <laughs> Yeah. And just enjoy the convention and people and, love you know, that. Now again, anything you want to bring, you want me to sign. I'm glad to oh, sign. Oh please. Um, sign and I hope you'll also attend the panel. <laughs> bring the empty PM. game boxes. So, I'd love to sign them. Okay. <laughs> well, uh, check it out. Too many games .com. Again, I'll put that link in the description of the video. So okay. that's it for this this uh, week's edition of Ask the King. I'm DSP, and I'll see you guys next time. Yeah. And, oh, yep. Remember, he's so proud of his cutting abilities. But my friends, hmm. that was it. That one flew by. That was super fast. Uh, yeah, we were we in go. and out on that one. <laughs> Gotta hit those deadlines, you know what I'm saying? But uh, you're all fucking legends. Thanks for hanging out today. I'll uh, redirect you to some someone awesome. I guarantee they will be awesome. Uh, what's going on with you? Come on, share your stuff. I know you always say the same thing, but come on. Have the videos. Always, come always. On, let them go. Come on. Videos during the week. Uh, stream Saturday, hopefully. I'm not working as much this week. God, I hope. I'm so tired all the time. <laughs> um uh I popped off on stream today at the end um for the DSP news about the Mike Clum thing. I am gonna do a video about it, but if you want my first reaction, I kind of went haywire off of no sleep. I was yelling, we were having fun. <laughs> <laughs> I was I was actually screaming at one point. We were we were having a blast. Nice, nice. Big ups, big ups. Oh, thanks so much, Instamat and some other people. We forgot oh, our Q magazine &A. names. We forgot our Q and A. Yep. Like I yep. check that. We're not going anywhere yet. Come on, come on, come on. All right, here we go. <clears throat> you rate them from one to ten, and please be brutal. These people can handle it. Okay. Okay. The, the Gout Street Journal. Um, <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> I, I got a six and a half. It's solid. It's solid. It's a good snort, first one. Snort Informer. Currently, I like Snort and Former a lot. Okay. Let's street. take turns. Let's take okay. turns. You, I'll, I'll rate. Okay. I'll, let's go back and forth. I'll rate. Oh, you have Snort and Former though, please. You, you're the first one. You uh, uh, one. Snort and Former. Um, well, because I like Gout and Former better, uh, so I'll give okay. Snort and Former uh, f a five. I think it's okay. The, the Snort Fortune five hundred. Okay, that's okay. <laughs> that's a that's a five though. It's like okay. Are you, next one for you, Gin Connoisseur Monthly. Um, I'm gonna give it a three and a half. I think it's a little lazy. <laughs> Snorts Illustrated. I like that one. I'm gonna say seven on that. Unique. The new Snort yeah, Times. Good. Okay, let's just. I'm gonna, there's so many now. We, the, the the new Snort Times. <laughs> nice. New uh, Snort Times is good. <laughs> new Snort Times. Uh, I'll, I'll get a. I'll give it a five. It's it's okay. It's good. It's okay. Uh, not Game Pro, but Gout Pro. I like that. Uh, <laughs> the new Snort Game. Oh, this is good. Game and Snorter. <laughs> mm, game and Snorter is great. I really like that. I'm going to give it a nine. We're going crazy. The, I'm giving not, it a nine. Not quite the Game Informer. The Game and Snorter. That might be the winner right now. All right, I'm looking through. I'm looking through. I'm looking through. I'll make some choices here. Uh <laughs> That might be the best. In, in Insanity Fair, Fecal Magazine, Squealer's Digest, Game Destroyer, Erec Elec Electronic Gout Monthly, <laughs> the, 
the Puller's Digest. The Puller's Digest. Puller's Digest is good. That's good. The new porker. The new porker. Big ups. New porker's good. I like that. You guys are awesome. I know I missed some. Bros and Hogan's. I'm down with that. Bros and Hogan. Swine Times. Uh, you guys are all legends, dude. Thanks for making us laugh. Hope we had some fun tonight. We are, you are, and uh, yeah, that'll do it. Uh, that be obviously WPIG live 7 30 a.m. tomorrow with the radio and the songs and the videos and all that fun stuff. That being said, 3 30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we got to talk about a documentary being canceled, I guess. So, hope to see you there. You're all legends. Don't forget, see you. <laughs>